Well, welcome in, everybody. Tonight, we have RSF1 Tier 3. Good evening, Freddy. How you doing, fella? Hope you're well. Hope you're looking forward to the race. We're going to find out who is the RSF1 Tier 3 Wizard of Oz. As our Tier 3 drivers tackle Melbourne. The championship can be decided this evening. Can Eagle claim the title? Or will Fruit Boy extend it to another week? I'll run through the permutations a little bit later on. Uh, we'll be joining the lobby very soon, I would imagine. I'll just double check. But we'll be joining the lobby very soon. See who we've got in the driving seats this evening. But certainly, what we can do is share some information with you regarding the current standings so that you can see them. La 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 la. He says, here we go, standings. First and foremost, if you're interested in joining the league, Nightbot actually has just dropped a message in directing you towards our Twitter account. But we've also got our own website, which is where we get a lot of our, uh, our guys join from. Um, the racing series f1.com website and what you'll do is you'll get if you click the link there you'll get the standings but what I'll do is I'll share those with you right now so that we can kind of run through them first so on, on this page obviously we've got all the we've got the about us tab we've got our league standings which is where we are now the season calendar the rules and regulations of course the foundation and blueprint for every single league and then obviously there's a link to be able to join the league so in where are we Tier 3. So these are our Tier 3 standings. The points leader at the moment is Eagle with 224 points. Uh, Fruit Boy in the Ferrari is second with 191. And Moggs, I don't know whether Moggs is driving tonight, is 143. Stidgen, 123. And Braver Container wrapping up the top five on 122. Being contested actually by Steffi, who's won the last two races on 118 points. So that gives you a little inkling as to uh, the website. Uh, and we've got also uh, an overall constructor standings, which tells you that so far this season, Williams drivers have done the best job. We won't talk about the car that I drive in, Aston Martin, in Tier 4. Let's, let's just gloss over that one very swiftly. Uh, but yeah, so far, Williams are our top performing team on 1,197 points. So welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. It would be a crime, of course, if you were not. Let's just see if our lobby's open. La, 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 la. Lobby is open. The lobby is indeed open. So let's go and skip, hop, and jump into that. Off tonight's host, who is our championship leader, Eagle. So 
So who have we got in this evening? Let's make sure we press the spectate button and we don't accidentally end up in a car. That would be catastrophic for everybody involved. So, so far on comes, it's my good self, Rage Quit. That's R4G3KW1T. Uh, so far, the drivers we've got in for this evening. Here's the championship leader, Eagle, in the Mercedes. Crosskery in the Alfa Romeo. Stygian in the Red Bull. Turbo Typhon in the Aston Martin. Sheen in the Haas. Steffi, who is also in a Mercedes, I believe. There comes our championship challenger, Fruit Boy, in the Ferrari. Uh, we've got a pretty full lobby tonight, I believe. We're looking at 18, possibly 19 drivers, which will be a cracking turnout towards the back end of a season for any league. I'm pretty sure you'll agree. In comes Breezy. Breezy's going to be in the other Aston Martin, I believe. There he is, in the Aston. I know you can't see it because it's kind of up there. But we will get to the main screen. We will bring that in to the forefront eventually as we get closer towards qualification. Um, I guess as we uh, as we just wait for all the drivers to come in, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on the new F1 2022 drivers game and, of course, the game that we saw some gameplay of yesterday, F1 Manager 2022. I think it looks pretty fun. I might have to chunk some hours into streaming that myself. And I'm sure as we move into the RSF1 next season, I don't know, maybe you'll see some content from us around that game as well. Obviously, there is no multiplayer, so that kind of changes the dynamic for us a little bit. But certainly, as we uh, as we head into new season, obviously, there's going to be new stuff happening next year. Um, we do have a, um, a little questionnaire that we fill out. A little survey that we fill out at the end of each season or getting towards the end of each season for feedback from all the drivers because it's important that we take into consideration um, you know the drivers are our number one people right those are the guys we've got to look after followed very very closely by all our viewers so we've got a thousand followers hopefully we can get 20 plus in again tonight maybe we can get 30 in what do you reckon can we can we get 30 viewers in tonight what are we saying What are we saying? So who are we expecting in the lobby? So Stygian's in. Typhoon's in. Breezy's in. Shane. So we're waiting on Shane. Crossgree's in. Uh, Pazuzu we're waiting on. Uh, Van, Van Geisen, who drives through the Ferrari. Braver Container. Here comes Stars. Here comes my, here comes my comms partner, Stars Orphan. Uh, Fruit Boy is in. Unruly Ethan. Maybe he's in the other Ferrari. Or is he in the, uh, the McLaren? I can't remember. So many leagues. So many cars. Uh, so we're waiting for Unruly Ethan. Uh, Sheen's in. Steffi Weffy's in. Eagle's in. And then we have some reserve drivers tonight. So we've got GFR Sharky, Ipswich Techers, Stretch 36, and SSRL Gasly. That should make up our... Um, oh, we've had somebody decline. We did have 14 accepted. It's now down to 13. So it's looking like we might have 17. 17 or 18 drivers in for this evening's race. Let's get stars in a parte. Turn my mic on, obviously, that'll help. Good evening, sir. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you doing, man? Yeah, not bad. Good, 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 good. It feels weird, like. <laughs> Say again? I normally stream in. I normally stream in, so it's a, a different experience tonight. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, so we've got we've got the stream up and running. So welcome in. Everybody, welcome in to, to Stars. Stars Orphan. He's one of our, our regular commentators on RSF1. Thank you very much. Are you looking forward to tonight? Yeah, it's a championship decider between uh, Eagle and um, Fruit Boy. 
So yeah. Fruit Boy needs to get the win tonight. And um, obviously, you have to hope that Eagle messes up somehow. But, yeah. uh, you know, it could go down to the wire, the last two races. It could go down to the wire. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I think, I think the battle between the two um, is something that we obviously need to keep our eye on. Um, Eagle has just been so consistent throughout the course of the uh, throughout the course of the season, um, and, and you know the the one thing that's really shaken it up, shaken it up, shaking it up over the course of the last few weeks is obviously the the emergence of Steffi in the last few games, uh, matches, yeah. drives, drives, races. Can't get me worse yeah. out tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely um, if he joined being in the season I mean there's a mm. case to say that he would have run away with the championship you know um, mm. but his performances have been very good like uh, he's definitely he could possibly be an F2 driver but you know he's yeah. come in and he's done very well yeah and, I, and I'm not uh, too sure how the well promotion and relegation uh, works at RSF1 because I've only been involved in, in you know this is only my second season um, and yeah. I joined right at the back end of last season, but but certainly having watched um, Steffi, Eagle, and Fruit Boy the last certainly the last few weeks, there's certainly a yeah. case for them uh, being in F2 next year. Oh, definitely. Well, it used to work that we'd have like four go up and then four go down. Oh, right. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes they um, they do air on the side of caution sometimes maybe that sure they just had a good season maybe uh, and they're not going to be f so say for instance the guy from f5 won the, the league yeah um, they won it mainly due to other performances but he wouldn't be too quick for f4 but majority of the time they do do top four so okay we'll, we'll see like uh the top four move up to f2 and then the bottom four move down yeah yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, yes, Aaron. Aaron says, come on, Stygian and Eagle. So we can see that uh, who Aaron is. I'm waiting for the Steffi Weffy fan club to arrive that we've had here the last uh, few weeks. <laughs> well, yeah, been, I've been uh, the Eagle fan club for the last few weeks. Say that again, mate. I've been the Eagle fan club for the last few weeks. You've been the Eagle <laughs> fan club the last few weeks, I see. Yeah. Uh, well, like I say, we were teammates season three. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I got a fresh start like for Eagle, obviously. Yeah, well, you got you got to shout for your uh, you got to shout for your team, haven't you? You got to shout for your team. We've got we've actually I put the light on for the beginning of the night. I put the light on green because I'm an Aston Martin driver. But let's change it. We won't go blue because that's Red Bull. We won't go that color because that's McLaren. That the pink color we'd have to go pink color. We'd have to be. Uh, I know they said Force India then. Um, but we'll go we'll go for for the McLaren light. We'll go for the. Uh, for the blue, since our championship leader does drive for McLaren, we'll put it on the, the light blue light for this evening to kick us off with. Nice. Can't really tell, actually, because I'm sat too close, and, it, and it's still daylight outside. Like I say, uh, I may you know, want Eagle to win, but as a commentator, you know, you've got to be unbiased. <laughs> Completely and utterly impartial, of course, at all times. Yes. Right, we've had a few more. We've had a few more join. I don't know who Piggy is. Piggy Man is, is one. He in the Discord. He uh, might be. We've had Braver Container join in McLaren. We've had Van Geisen in the other Ferrari, and Piggy Man. So we're but, still waiting for Unruly Ethan. Well, we expect an eighteen. So, or was, was it seventeen? I think it's dropped down to seventeen, but I don't see Piggy mentioned anywhere. A lot of the new drivers. Welcome back, Freddie. Struggle to get in. Because they, you know, haven't got friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, who needs friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Freddie, no, thank you so much me. for the hydrate, bro. Be me. <laughs> stars, <laughs> stars, you've got to hydrate. We've been told we've got to hydrate, so we've got to hydrate. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much for the hydrate, Freddie. Hope it was a good call. Hope you're feeling a bit better, mate, as well. I'm, I'm drinking a nice uh, coffee. So. Oh, very nice, very nice. I'm on, I'm on Diet Coke at the minute. I might have to get myself a coffee shortly, but... I'm pretty sure all these yeah. guys are going to give us such a show that we're not going to need the caffeine. <laughs> we're not going to need the caffeine. In comes Pazuzu in the Red Bull as well. So we're up to 13 drivers. 
with two or three minutes on the clock. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, the, I noticed there's seven of you there. Welcome in. If you don't want to talk, that is absolutely fine. We understand. But if you uh, want to say hi, give us a quick wave. Give us a follow if you ha if you don't follow us already. We race Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday across the uh, five different tiers here at RSF1. Sundays is tier one. Mondays is tier two. Tuesdays is tier five. Wednesdays today is tier three and tier four is on a Thursday. Freddie says, I know how thirsty you can be when you're doing comms. Absolutely, Freddie. I've also got some water here that's going to need topping up at some point. I've got some coffee on the bubble in the kitchen. As I'm drinking a milkshake, you say that. What flavour milkshake though, Aaron? What flavour milkshake? Uh, what kind of coffee are you drinking? Broke last night. Just normal coffee with a bit of coffee, mate. <clears throat> but uh, I had a bit of a sticky throat last night. Um, you... As it goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, you commentated last night on tier five? Uh, tier five. Yeah, you commentated last night on tier five. How did it go? Yeah, it was not bad. It was a really good race, actually. Um, it was a lot better than the one I commentated on Sunday. <laughs> um, yeah, but, Sunday. Uh, it really showed how. Tier 5 may be the slowest division, but they're definitely the cleanest. Um, that, and they seem to know how to uh, do overtakes and, and sort of give space and stuff like that. But it yeah. may have been the case that on Monday, uh, sorry, Sunday, that bringing in a, a load of Tier 3 drivers into the league uh, division may have upset the standard. Yeah, it might have upset the standard and the balance because I know, I know as a, as a driver, I, I should be a tier five driver and I'm in tier four. Yeah. Um, now I, I'm I'm driving a lot slower, but I'm driving very I'm driving very clean, so I'm not getting very many penalties. Now mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that I'm not going to cause some accidents though, because I'm I'm still pushing myself harder than I would yeah. normally, because I don't just want to be you know I don't want to be the car at the back all the time. I want to push myself and I want to get better and I want to yeah. I want to try and compete. And when you're in a mm -hmm. tier that's one or even sometimes two, like the tier three drivers, when when that's the case, that it, it's it's real difficult to push as hard yeah. as those guys push, and yeah. and not then not be incidents. I know there were so many yeah. safety cars. I think there were six safety cars Sunday, and like four yeah. on Monday. Um, I don't know how many were, were there. Were there any last night? Even in double? Uh, two last night. Two. Um, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. I totally agree with you on that one because um, I joined uh, Tier 4 the other day and um, I'm basically a mid-runner in F5 but I basically wanted to do the comms on F5 so yeah. I decided well give some space to the reserve drivers and I'll come and join as a reserve yeah, but nice. when I joined I did notice that I was pushing harder to try and do well and yeah I literally dropped it on the last corner trying to do a good quality lap but, um, but in the race I wasn't too bad I was like I, I had the pace in the race pace just didn't have the quality pace yeah uh, Aaron's milkshake is indeed chocolate Rage you've been improving each race have been keeping an eye out in quality well thank you fish sticks I appreciate that I've actually made Q3 once this year I believe there might have only been ten cars in the race, but let's not uh, <laughs> let's not talk about that. It all counts. They all count. They all absolutely. They all count. And and do you know what? Since I've since I've discovered league racing back in November, it's completely changed the way I play and perceive this game. I was doing a lot of five lap open lobbies before, and I've I've enjoyed it so much. And it and, and by the way, guys, on, on a timely note. If you're new here, if you're one of the nine viewers that we've got in right now, and you're tuning in for the very first time, there's a link. If you're interested in doing some league races, there's a link, racingseriesf1.com. It's just dropped into the chat. Give it a click. Go and have a look round. It's a cracking piece of kit, that website. There's a, an About Us section. Um, gives you the league standings. 
Uh, also talks you through how to join and of course the ever-present rules and regulations of what's expected of you in league racing because it is i can guarantee you it is not open lobbies we do not behave like that in league racing because no, we have damage on it. we have damage on no. but it's a lot of fun when you get to grips with league racing though it, it's yeah. literally it, when, when you experience racing against other drivers who are similar minded and you know who want to league race who want to have fun who want to like push themselves you know, it, yeah, it's so sure. much fun. Uh, when does the new you meet season so many start? Good friends, like, you know, you know. Uh, Ipswich, I'm not too sure when the new season starts, mate. I would suggest at the end of July, start of August. That would be my best guess. I don't think that information is on the website just yet, but it will be. Mr. Hunt, Michael is indeed here. Good evening, sir. Hope you're doing very well. Oh, hello. With the lobbies. Lobby's kicking off. I've been talking so much, I didn't notice the lobby's kicking off. Here we go. So we've got, yeah, we've we got go. 17 drivers. It's not bad. Turn out for F3. It's good. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of races recently where there's been like four, 13 to 15. I think last mm -hmm. week we might have had 16 last week, which, which meant Q1 was... At least we had something to commentate on in Q1. Rather oh, than... Hunt. Mr. Hunt's in the house. Hey, uh, rather uh, than there just being a... Uh, last week was 14, says Double. We're racing, Aaron. Indeed, we are racing. The legend himself. RSF1 Hunt. RSF1 Hunt, the legend. legend of uh, RSF1 commentating. In the house. In, in the Evening. house. Right, so... If you're driving this track, which you will be tomorrow, hopefully, how are you handling yeah. the chicane of death? Hey, hey, you taking it on. Chicane of death, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking it easy. <laughs> like I did last year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Hunt, my name is Mr. Rage Quit. That's R4G3KW1T. What we want to know is when you're coming back yeah when you're coming back on we could do with making the map a little bit bigger I think rage quit absolutely Aaron good work although I was being a bit fancy and I didn't spell it like that I thought I was being a smarty pants I spelt it a little bit different. Right, have we got any cars coming out? No cars coming out yet. So we're going to be waiting for some Intel stars as well. We always like a little bit of Intel from the track, don't we, about the weather? Oh, yes. It's looking quite dark out there. It does look a little bit murky. We've got a car leaving the pits. Piggy? Oh, it is as well, Piggy. Looks a little bit murky. Yeah. Yes, it does look a bit dark. Yeah. I've, do you know, I've, in, I've enjoyed watching the other tiers and commentating on the other tiers as well. It's certainly the guys that are in tiers higher than me because it allows me to learn a little bit about the racing line and what's good and yeah. bad and what not to take. So last yeah. couple of days, I've been watching guys taking that chicane of death to try yes. and get a feel for I mean, it, for what I can do. Yeah, I was doing the exact same thing yesterday. Not, yeah. not yesterday, um, tier one. I've noticed, right, how much they cut that first corner. Yeah. They go straight over that chicane. Yeah, yeah. And not get invalidated. Like, no, exactly. Whoa. And I think I think some of the comments that some of the guys were making, you remember before I left Rage Quit, I think it was, yeah, absolutely, Hunty, yeah. that's right, mate. Um, yeah, so I, I remember, like, some of the really quick guys use so much more of the track so much you see, more than track. You see, you see them on the grass almost sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And they're not invalidating. And that and I think that's the, the key to this game is to is to keep obviously keep the speed and the pace up while utilizing as much of the track as possible. Because there there are a couple of really tricky sections around here. So well we we're about to see because we've got Mr. Piggy is about to start the first hot lap of the evening. And he's away. There's a Red Bull on the track in front of him. That hopefully gets out of the way. And he's invalidated on the very first corner. So we'll jump up to... 
Turbo tie. Turbo tie. Turbo tie might be the next one out. His teammate was in the way a little bit there. Key to this game is bribe the Codemasters. Hunt, if anybody can find anybody at Cody's that we can bribe just to get a lobby that doesn't... Oh, I nearly jinxed it. I better keep my voice down. <laughs> Don't say that now. <laughs> yeah, let's not say that. Let's not say things like that. Just in case the lobby glitches. So Turbo, Turbo's a guy that accidentally joined this division's racing, I think, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, so ended up joining the league. He, he very kindly bumped out as he comes through the chicane. Oh, death. yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, he very, he very kindly jumped out and uh, decided to join the league, which is good. He seems like a good driver as well. Yeah, he seems to be doing all right. He, he was doing, I think he had a, an accident last week, but he'd been doing okay. He'd shown some pace. Commentator's curse. I, I did notice, Aaron, that in chat the other night that you talked about the Mercedes drivers. First time on the board is 23.9. I don't know who the hell the next one is. Is it Shane? It is Shane. Oh, Shane's just setting his lap. So I noticed, Aaron, uh, that in chat you talked about the Mercedes drivers the other night. And uh, it, it, it kind of made a mess. Ipswich Techers. I don't know who's the next guy going to be through. It looks like it's going to be Van Geisen. Van Geisen goes quickest with a 20.4. Not bad. Bad at all. We've got Sheen, I think. Yeah, Sheen, 23.6. Stigeon's coming at the end of his lap, I think. Stigeon, 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 Stigeon. Yeah, go on, I'll put you on board with Stigeon, mate. Yeah, it's coming through the final sector. Yeah, final couple of corners. There's a yellow flag in sector two. Is it? Oh, three, sorry. Uh, coming up to the line. Just oh. a little bit wide there, almost How does he keep it. it? How does he keep that valid? That's what I was thinking. But he goes uh, second fastest with 23 3. But you'll be expecting a lot better than that. Oh, we've got oh, no. a big crash! It's Sharky in the Alpha Towery! Sharky. Don't son. tell me it's the chicane of death. It was not the chicane of death. No. He's done it at the back end of Sector 1. Back oh, end of I know that, one, that corner. He is out. He is out. Um, I missed a lap then. I missed a piggy set a 24.3. But yeah, that's, that's Sharky out, guys. He'd set a 136.6. So if we've got anybody who doesn't set a lap time, they'll start behind him. Big F's in the chat from Aaron. Quiet down. Don't let the Merc boss know I'm a Merc driver. Absolutely not. I was surprised you kept your seat, quite frankly, Aaron, after uh, yesterday's escapade. Or night before his escapade. Right, who have we got coming through now? We've got a couple of Haas drivers coming through. Stretch, maybe? Yeah, Stretch is behind Sheen. He's already set a lap. So Sheen, I guess, will come in. Yeah, Stretch is out bit. Medium tyre. Oh, he feels yeah. he can get through. He is. Coming up the line. That's a 26.8. That's not going to be nowhere near. Nice. Nah, so it might be okay for a banker lap, I guess. He's going to count up. He's going to the soft. Definitely. Stitchin's invalidated and will go again. I thought he was... Oh, he was just having a warm, a warm down. Cool down lap. We've got Shane coming through, potentially. Yeah, here comes Shane. Load coming out of the pits now. Yeah. Zoo, zoo. Shane's also on the beat. Steffi Wafi, Gulp, Raver Katina. That's a better lap on Shane. Easy. That's a better lap. Turbo tie quickest with a 22-3. Goes a tenth quicker than uh, Van Giesen. Nice. Is that car coming Crawling into back to the pits now. Yeah, that's coming into the pits. Gasly's invalidated on turn one. So next car on track is going to be Stretch. But I'm yeah. guessing he's... Oh, no, Stretch. Stretch is 500s down. So it was just a bank lap. 500s down in Q, uh, Q1. Up. Sector one. 
Five tenths down. God, anybody would think. Up. <laughs> or down. Oh, I don't know. Up, down, shake it around. Five tenths up. Anyway, he's got a full second quicker. <laughs> yeah, he's got a second quicker. But I still don't think that will be enough. Does anyone know if it's up or down? <laughs> Stitching. As Aaron says, go Stygian, Stygian doesn't bin it. So that's a big dub for Aaron and a big dub for Stygian with a 22-1 on the soft tire. Yeah, as he's on the lap as well, he's just got through the chicane of death. All right. Who's that? Gasly. Oh, no, he's invalidated. Bobby Gasly for you. There you go, mate. He's invalidated. Oh, he's invalidated. Eagles on an hour. He's invalidated a bit. Chicane of death. Where's the other... Oh, Steffi. Steffi's on a lap. Steffi. Oh, just started. Oh, we did not invalidate that. No, I know. They take I'm that saying... corner real, real hard, don't they? Real tight. They ride so much curb. Yeah. The Eagle's about to start. Like you, were saying it, like you were saying earlier that they're using so much of the track more than we do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I probably try and stick too close to the actual racing line. Um, Ipswich has retired from the session. Is that going to be a little bit early? Mm. He might have retired a bit early there, guys. He's he's relying on two people not being quicker than him. We've got some quick drivers yet to post laps. Mm. Here comes the chicane of death. Now, Steffi has gone purple in Sector 1 and Sector 2. So you're on, you're on board with him, mate. Steffi, is it? Yeah. But Steffi's gone purple sector two. He's going into sector three. He's got a car out up ahead of him, but I don't think it's going to affect him. Uh, coming in the last corner, pass the pit straight. What's he going to do? DRS open, nice and tight there. Uh, comes to the line, <laughs> sets the fastest time by a mile. <laughs> a 21 7. Yeah. Really F2, not F2. <laughs> yeah, definitely F2. Piggy! Oh no, Piggy! He's not gone, is he? Has he crashed on the straight? There's yellow flags on the straight. I'm just trying to find a car. I'm not going to find a car. He must... Surely he's crashed. As Breezy navigates the chicane of doom. It looks like Piggy crashed. Therefore, Sheen has seen that and decided that he will... Everybody just needs to set a lap now. So Fruit Boy, Crosscurry, Breezy, Gasly, Braver and Pazuzu just need to set a lap to get through to Q2. Because yeah. we had two guys crash out. Maybe that's what we're waiting for. <laughs> he, did, he did crash out. There's a spare, soft tyre sitting on the, uh, the home straight, the start-finish line. That always happens. So we'll stay on we'll stay on board with Breezy then, mate. Breezy, he's on the medium tire, so he can get through now, really, on on the medium tire now. There's uh there's two DNFs. Yeah, so. well actually, I guess he's I guess he's set a lap already, but he, he could get through with a 130. Is he gonna keep pushing or is he is he just gonna cruise into the cruise into the pits and save some tires? So the only guy Two guys who need to set laps now. Oh, sorry, three guys. Uh, Pazuzu, Gasly, and Fukuda, the championship yeah. uh, leader who is out on the lap uh, in Ferrari. He's gone out on the mediums as well. Who's first, so, him or Gasly? They must be saving slots for the lap part of the poly. Yeah. So I've jumped on board with Gasly for you because he's just in front of Fruit Boy on hot lap. Gasly, whereabouts is he? He's coming into sector two. Yeah. He's coming into the breaking zone nicely there. Uh, is he fast? I'm trying to work out where he is. Yeah, he's coming out to Chicane of Death. Let's see how, how we go. Yeah, it. somebody he's else flat out. Jeff. Ethan said he couldn't race. Oh, sad to see that. Ethan, I was looking forward to watching you again this weekend. Oh, weekend. Week. He cut that fairly easy there. He did cut it fairly easy, didn't he? Yellow flags in front of him. I think that's just for slow cars, though. 
Yeah, that's your point. Just trying to get out of the way. He's, uh, you can take this nice and easy now. There's no point. Trying yeah, I was going to say, just have to push, does he? doesn't have to push, can just cruise around. Yeah, like they all can. This will probably be a, yeah, he's way off time. 23, 2, I say way off the time, he's done a P8 there. Yeah, oh, fruit boy, fruit boy, fruit boy. I'll get down to him quick enough. Says a 25-3. And the last the last driver on a on a lap, I guess, is gonna be Mr. Mr. Pazuzu. My new wire didn't turn up for internet. Oh man. That sucks, Ethan. Oh damn. Oh, and he's invalidated. Annoyed. Oh, he's on his outlap. It's alright. I'll let him off. Outlap. I know what that's like when I used to have bad internet. So I got uh, beating up. Yeah. We've got a little bit of a delay between me talking and the picture. Half a second, maybe. But that's fine. All right, here goes Pazuzu then to set the lap. A nice chilled 150 does the trick. Lovely. Come on. Or does it? <laughs> Don't drop it now, Pazuzu. <laughs> the pressure's on you now. Yeah, whatever you do, <laughs> don't drop it. It's... Did Gasly... Did Gasly crash? Gasly's crashed! Really? Gasly's crashed! No! Gasly has crashed! What to do? A set a lap. Oh. Gasly's crashed! Do they not know? Oh my god. Yeah, Gasly's out, because his time... A 123.2 is better than the 125.8, so Gasly's crashed as well. Normal procedure goes, yeah. game released July 1st, roughly two weeks to get used to the game, another two weeks to do a complete fresh testing as it's a new game, week of finalising tier, so roughly August 2nd week. Brilliant, thank you very much for that, Hunt. I appreciate that, mate. I am now a man in the know. Oh, let's have a read of this. August the second week. Guesswork is better than uh, not having a single clue, Hunt, which is pretty much what uh, I've just done. So Pazuzu set the lap 25-7. That should be everybody back round into the pits. Park yourselves up, lads. Take your uh, take your helmet off if you've had a little accident and go and sit yourselves down and wait. Because we should be well on our way into Q2. We've got 27 viewers so far. Thank you very much. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for tuning in to Tier 3 at Melbourne this evening. We want to know your thoughts on the new games, the F1 2022 manager and the F1 2022 game as well, of course. So if you've got any thoughts, like what you've seen so far, let us know in chat. Ask us some questions of what we think. I'll keep my opinion to myself until I'm asked. Um, but yeah, welcome on in. If you're interested in league racing, feel free to... Um, this is see whether I can actually... Oh, Fruit Boy coming in with some intel. We love a bit of intel. Is it raining? <laughs> there might be a little bit of rain at the start of the race. Uh, so, guys, there's the link to the website. If you're interested in league racing, we're obviously going to be kicking off Season 7 with RSF1. Hopefully, roundabout. First, second week of August. Once everybody is acclimatised with the new game. Can't wait. Honestly. And honestly, I'm, do you know what? I'm looking forward to it so much. Yeah. All well, the new things on it. Um, uh, like the pit thing, the start thing. Yeah. And, uh, the, the new cars, obviously. Because it's the first game in a while where there's going to be actually new cars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, looking forward to it. Should be, uh, should be good fun. Pazuzu, I think Pazuzu actually did another lap there and went a bit quicker. Does he, does he have to get another lap in here? Because he's still showing the 16th. He might have to get another lap in. 
He is still pushing hard. Chicane of death. He takes the first one quite wide. Cuts the second one. Keeps the car on the track. Opens up the DRS. What does he need? What does he need here? He needs another uh, six tenths. Maybe seven. And he, this is his last shot. What a way to go if you even go out. Though, even though they be in it. They've done faster times. Yeah. So. He needs to get his foot to the oh, floor. Little wiggle. A bit of it. Definitely lost a bit of time there. But... Get that's seven okay. tenths. Yeah, oh, Pazuzu. Skinny Look how close he was to going out. He was close to going out, yeah. Uh, Hunt says, from what I've heard last, F122 will be split on new gen and old gen, which hurts leagues. Yes, it will hurt leagues. There'll have to be some kind of shuffle up, I believe, Hunt. If there's plenty of drivers with the new gen... I, I am categorically I'm not getting a new gen console. I'm going to stick with my old gen. Uh, because my ambition well, I, is to I, get a PC. Well, I've got the Series X, but I bought the, um, the, the Series X and Xbox version. Yeah. To be fair, so that's, that's actually... what I've got as well. So I've, I've, got the, um, I've got the dual version one you can upgrade. Be a bit general though, I, won't, I won't be able to play it at the very high level, do you know what I mean? Mr. Vevchit. Vevtich, thank you very much for the uh, hydrate. Hey, congratulations on your drive the other night as well, by the way. I believe, if I remember rightly, you were in the McLaren. And that is Q1 done and dusted, ladies and gents. Stars, over to you, fella. Well, <clears throat> Steffi Weffi was the fastest there, Stitching in second place, Breva Katina in third, Turbo Taffin in fourth, Van Giesen in fifth, Ipswich Tekka in sixth, RSF Shane doing well there in P7, Breezy, SH33N11 in ninth, RSF1 Stretch, Crooks Cro uh, Krosky, Fruit Boy Eagle, RSF1 Pazuzu, and i move down quickly. We've got the three eliminations of SSR Gasly, Piggy Man, and GR. Oh, shank. Sharky. And those guys all crashed, didn't they? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> those guys did all crash. Gasly would have got through if he hadn't crashed. He would. He would have gone through. Right, as we're waiting for, uh, as we're waiting for Q2 to start, I'm just going to go and uh, grab myself something to drink. I should be back very shortly. Yeah, but most don't want to play old version on next-gen console. Hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. But I thought that uh, it was. Of course, I'll do the spectator can be fry disappear. That uh, you could play the Series X version against the old. See if the car version. jumps out of the pits, and I'll put you on it before I uh, jump That's into the I kitchen. Got told, anyway. We have Shane. Shane on his way out. I'll leave you on board. I'll leave you on so, board, Stars, with Shane. Okay, I'll just switch to Shane then. And I'll take the thing I'm supposed to be getting my train in the Alpha Tauri tonight. I believe that he's got actually a seat now. It's not, no longer a reserve. He's on his out. Uh, I think he's the first out. Yep. He's reading as the first out. We've got the. Uh, I believe. Is it Fruit Boy or Van Giesen or somebody behind him? But. Uh, yeah, we'll stay on board with Shane, as he's about, I think he was in P7 first, uh, Chloe. So, he's definitely got some kind of pace around here. Maybe going to release a bit more from that AlphaTauri engine. Honda power. Don't want to drop it yet now, Shane, on your out, man. Sporting a very fanciful helmet there, purple and black. <coughs> right, is he just starting to set up his lap? So get a nice exit, yeah. He said the DRS open. <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat again. Going into turn one. How's he going to cut it? Oh, he 
just about holds it there. Went a bit wide. DRS open again. Coming into this intricate section here. Yeah. You kind of have to hit the curves tightly in. And this is a little tricky little corner. Sometimes you can go wide and go into the wall. Oh, 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 but he managed to do, it. do well there. He's just coming through there. Obviously, he's purple because he's the first guy out, but he's coming up to this uh, breaking zone here. Nicely on the traction again. He's going to keep it nice and tight here. Coming out to the chicane of death. Now, how's he going to take it? He's got the McLaren in the inside there. Does take it fairly nicely. Oh. Just about holds it. I see yellow flag sector three. I don't know what that's about, but we've, we've got a yellow flag the on the uh, start corner. finish line again. We've got oh, we we had a Red Bull span out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Shane's coming up now. Past the pit entry, final corner. Oh. He holds it nicely. Oh, and he's lost it. He's lost it. Final we've got corner. Sheen. Sheen's lost it. As Braver container comes up to him, he's got to be careful, Braver. He's lost it on the chicane of death. Sheen out. Good evening, Days. How Things you doing, like, sir? Hope you're well. Good lap there. Good luck in your race. Who who got the lap cross screen? <laughs> Almost a, a crash there. But Sheen could nothing really other than sit there. Yeah. Which I think is what the, uh, one of the Red Bulls had to do. They right messed up one of the guys' laps there. But it wasn't much Sheen to do there. Yeah, Shane stuck his 147.8 in. He was on a good lap there. Next car is Stretch. 124 flat. Let's go F3. Let's keep the safety cars to a minimum today, says Days. Days, from the yeah. uh, from what we've seen so far in Q1 and Q2, my hopes are not, not overly like high. <laughs> and we've got, uh, go on. Stitchin's got no front wing. Stitchin, no front wing. Oh yeah, travelling very Crawley. slowly. Crawley. Turbo! Turbo's binned it! And Breezy. Turbo in the Aston. Breezy's gone as well. Right in the racing line as Crossgree drives over the debris. Hopefully he doesn't get a puncher. Breezy's gone. Oh, it's he. Both, both of them. Astons. And they're both gone. Both Aston. He's just Martins. crashed in it, Breezy. The container's just crashed into it. No! Both fast and safe corner. He saw it. I just don't understand how he didn't avoid it. He must have thought it was going to ghost him through it. And it didn't. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What a disaster. So we've lost four cars already in Q2. The two cars that went, uh, Breezy and... Uh, I think it was... Oh, who was it? Breezy and Turbo. Turbo. Yeah. The two cars that came together. Then they caught Breezy. <laughs> oh. What a disaster for Braver and for Breezy. So who went first? I think Turbo went first, didn't he? Yeah. Turbo went first and then Breezy caught, collected him. And then Braver collected into, um, I believe... Breezy. Three out in 15 seconds. Unbelievable. No, not tonight, Aaron. Just two of us tonight, bud. is just about right in terms of the number of voices that we can have because it's difficult to swap between so many different incidents I think I think we've got yeah so no, let's not change the car there we go three out in 15 seconds hun. unbelievable Jeff it's happening again <laughs> this must be the track of death it really. ab absolutely is like the, a... like the chain of death like, it is a track of death yeah, and the majority of them have gone all at the same corner. Yeah. As Fruit Boy retires in the pits, I believe. Don't think he's crashed, but you can never be too careful. Eagle's just I mean, cruising round at the minute. It's the point, like, you know, to save your race, really. Just take it easy on this corner, yeah. Yeah. I know you may lose time, but, I mean, you're risking losing your race life. Yeah, you'd, you'd rather lose a few... Lose a few seconds, then lose a tyre. Yeah. That's my point. 
Aaron's asking how many channel points everybody's got. Aaron's got 3.8k. Breezy's given us a little hydrate as well. Stars. Oh, and uh, Steffi's, drink, yeah. Steffi's about to start his hot lap. So there we go. 19k for Hunt. Fruit Boy Noah comes through with 36.8k. It's the battle of the channel points. Yeah, yeah. So is Stygian on an outlap? Stygian's on an outlap as well. So that's that'll be our two drivers just to set times. Not to sound too big headed. <laughs> yeah. uh, how many have I got? Oh I... no! No! Mercedes. That's Steffi! No, yeah. Steffi's got to it's set a time. Board. He's not invalidated. He could just he can actually, if he wanted to, he can uh, literally just cruise round. Didn't lose the, the car totally, but he's lost his front wing. He managed to get back in time, six minutes and fifty seconds. So he's got plenty of time to get back. Full send. Go big or go home, says Sturridge. I think we've seen a lot of people going home, Sturridge, so far this evening during Quali. And that wasn't on the chicane of death either. No, it was that corner I was saying about. Yeah. Well, you can lose it. Uh, you guys must watch every stream. I think, you know, I think what I like about the RSF1 community is a lot of the guys are in the streams most weeks, which is great. It's good to support your drivers. Cheer on your favourites, of course. Is he going to come into the pits or is he just going to cruise around? He's just going to cruise around and finish the lap. He knows he can just cruise around and finish the lap. Don't invalidate on that corner because you will be in the... <coughs> do 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 there you go so he qualifies with a 138.7 Stygian now so let's see how Stygian gets on and that'll be our last driver to set a time is he just in the middle of sector 3 coming up to that horrible little technical what I don't like about this track is this last corner I always end up in the grass <laughs> yeah you got to get the breaking zone, right? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm bad at it. What stitch has got to get a... Yeah, he's, he's definitely through. There you Shane's go. Shane's got to get a good time in now because he's got to get a 22. Uh, yes, he does, doesn't he? I forgot about Shane. Eight. He's got to get a 22 eight to get through, even though there have been crashes. To be fair, he could set a 30... He could set a 37. Oh, actually, right there. Because, uh, first in the night. And I don't know what that would do to a Steffi, stretch. to be fair. It would knock those locked down. Because they're currently through. Guess the chicken of death. Hydrate from Fruit Boy. Thank you very much, Fruit Boy. Community in RSF1, rough around the edges, but best around. And I think, do you know what, Hunt? I think because there's such a bunch of. Um, and I'm going to say something nice, don't worry. A bunch of competitive drivers who want to win. You know, they're very passionate about what they do. And it, it um, I think it says drive with passion, win with commitment, or drive with commitment, win with passion. And he's invalidated. Shane's invalidated. He's got to go around again. How much time's left? Four minutes. Plenty of time. Plenty, plenty of time. I keep thinking there's less time. I think because so much has happened. Yeah. We had those early crashes and. Uh, Oh, and he's invalidated. He's got ground twice. He's invalidated both laps because it was last corner. Oh, no. I wonder if he's going to have enough fuel. Maybe he's thinking. His red Go light's back. flashing. Yes. His red light's flashing. He needs to save fuel or get round quick, get back in and get out again. He is going to be pushing it. How far is he into the lap? He's going into second. Two, so he should be able to get in. You know? Can he get so in? How quick his pit crew are yeah. going to be? Stygian sets a twenty-two-one while we're not watching. Thank you very much, Aaron, because I've missed that. And Steffi is still in the pits. Oh no, the Ferrari's gone. Is it Van Geesen or Van Geesen? Good boy. Van Geesen. Yeah. Van Geisen's gone now. They're all in, isn't it? Right, here comes Shane into the pits. We're going to have about five in qualifying. This is, this is outrageous. So Turbo's gone. 
Van Geisen's gone, Braver's gone, Sheen's gone, and Breezy's gone. What a mess, guys. Get yourself in then, Shane. Get the wing change. Get yourself back out again. <clears throat> what if I'm racing tomorrow? I'm not hopeful of <laughs> surviving this track. I tell you that. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. crazy. This is... And this is just qualification. We've not even got to the race yet. I know. Yo, Hippo, thanks very much, sir. Hey. Look at that. Uh, 31 viewers. 30. Well done, guys. Congratulations. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for dropping by. Welcome to RSF1. Tier 3. Who, if we get anybody to finish, who will be the Wizard of Oz around Melbourne tonight? Five will finish the race. Anyone raise me on that? Absolutely not. I'm not going anywhere near that bet, Hunty. Nowhere near it. Hippo's a Stygian fan, as is Aaron. So Stygian's got a couple of fans in. There's a, there's a spare tyre in the middle of the track there. Hippo says seven will finish. Stretch is out. I wonder why Stretch is out. Is he uh, setting a lap? Looks like he might be trying to set a lap. I, I would not be leaving the pit. If I had a, a time on the board, I would not be leaving the pits, considering what's happened so far tonight. Well, I'm going to go for nine. You're going to go for nine? That feels that yeah. feels very optimistic, considering what we've seen so far. I'm going... Well, I, I was thinking about seven, but he's gone seven, so I'm going nine. Ah, that's fair enough. In that case, I'll go eight. There you go. What do you think about the new F122 game with F1 Life and the supercars and how's the garage? And do you know what? I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, Techers. Uh, me and Stars were just talking about it earlier on. You know, there's, there's quite a lot of new stuff. It's the first time we've really had um, a mechanics change, really, I guess, in the car. F1 Life feels like Forza Horizon. Yes, it does with the supercars. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, they've got a new uh, Jeff, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Jeff. Jeff's been fired, oh. folks, which is good because he put me on lap old 11 softs. 11 lap hold, 11 softs the other night. Yeah. Stretch does not improve his time. Right, where is Shane? Shane's on the out lap. He's got 33 seconds to get through the start finish line. Shane will knock Steffi out here. It's looking that way. I thought Steffi was going to come out on a set of mediums, but he decided not to. So Shane's got to put a clean lap in. This is your last chance saloon. I'm guessing Stretch is going to just on a, be on a cool down. Or is, is Stretch going to push? Looks like he might be pushing, you know. The only thing I'm disappointed about the new game is um, we're only going to have one new track. Um, there's going to be a couple of updates to the tracks like um, Australia, Spain, and I believe Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Which would be interesting. May provide a lot more overtakes and stuff like that for new tracks. But I was disappointed with the the, um, the DLC. Did you, see, did you see it? I've not seen what the DLC is. I know I've, got, I've, I've bought the Champions Edition, so I know I'm going to get the DLC. I'm not even sure if it's with the... the, the uh, I think that it's separate. Ugh. The, the DLC, you've got to pay for it. Yeah, with the Champions Edition, you don't have to. Hockenheim and Vietnam supposedly returning. That'll be some of the DLC, won't it? Yeah. I'm hoping that yeah. I've already paid for it if I've just spent 70 quid on the Champions Edition. Quite frankly, I'm well, disappointed to have to pay again. I'm, that's what I was thinking, but I'm hoping that that's the case. Here but, comes Shane. You know, you never know with co fasters and EA. EA want to make some extra money. Shane out of the game. Goes, goes fastest quickest. with a 22 Come 1. On. And Steffi Weffy Gamer, the winner of the last two races, ladies and gentlemen, is now out of Q3. Oof, that's a shocker. We're going to have eight drivers in Q3. It's EA, so you never know. Yeah, EA is a lot of pay to play. Yeah. F1 manager looks better than F1 22, says uh, Fruit Boy. Um, I, do you know what? I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward Malaysia. to it. I'm not going to lie. I would love to have had Malaysia back. Yeah, Malaysia would be nice. Malaysia would be nice. Um... There we are, the Luke Yorda. Uh, Shane does quickest. Stitching at second. Vietnam can suck. Uh, cross, cross key. Hunty. Eagle. Ipswich Tekka. RSF1 Stretch. RSF1 Pazuzu. Fruit Boy. And the eliminations are because of uh, various reasons. 
Turbo <laughs> Tapen, Van Giesen, Steffi Weff, Big Gamer, Brave Container, SH33N11, and Breezy. I've never That's driven a uh, Vietnam Hippo. Uh, so Hippo's saying commi you another committee win. <laughs> Muddy, Camo, Shane. It's a possibility. Stidgen says he might get pole. Well, I can imagine he, he will. I'm sure he's very confident. Not entirely sure um, tyres were a massive consideration coming into strategy there because obviously we're expecting rain at the start of the race according to the intelligence that we have from direct from Melbourne. Where's the Steffi Weffy fan club tonight? That's what I want to know. We had the Steffi Weffy fan club in recently. Maybe, maybe that's what's happened. His fan club aren't here and therefore his confidence has dipped. Let's have a look in the chat, see who we've got in there. Uh, users, da da da. In, in, uh, oh, yeah, Commander Root, of course. Extra more. Fish sticks, hippo, Ipswich. Uh, Mr. Blue Sky, Nightbot, but no, Biggie Man, no, no, Double Hunt, Sheen, Sophia, Spike Traps, Steffi, Tiz Cloud, Viv, Titch, and Virgo. So, no, it doesn't look like there's um, a Steffi Wiffy fan club in yet. Maybe they'll join us shortly. As I've pressed something that's making the chat take forever to come back. Stidging backs the weather up. So yeah, it looks, it looks like we're going to have rain at the beginning. As a bunch of cars have gone on outlaps, so I better concentrate. I think Fruit Boy's going to be the first. Fruit Boy is the first. Breezy says Steffi Weffy is the GOAT. Eagle. Button says Eagle. Pole a 21-7. Okay. We've got the Stidging fan club. Right, you're on board with uh, Fruit Boy, Stars, mate. On his outlet. Yeah, Fruit Boy, the championship contender here in the Ferrari. He's managed to survive all the carnage of the uh, previous two uh, qualifiers. And he's about to start his lap. DRS open on the Ferrari there. This is where a kind of corner where you either get it right or you get it massively wrong. And he manages to get it right, nice and tight there on the inside. Held it lovely there. He's coming into the DRS zone. Nicely on the brakes there. He's holding the inside line. Lovely and tight on the curbs there, like we were saying. And this looks like a very good sector one. This is a little tricky little corner as well. He managed to take it very nicely, nice and tight on the right yeah, hand side beautiful. there, or left hand side. Into the breaking zone. A lot of love in there. There's a lot of love in nice chat. A lot of love in chat. Everybody said everybody's beautiful. Yeah. Nobody said nobody said we're beautiful the, yet, by the way, Star. So you know, here comes the important part. No. He takes it fairly easy there. Yeah, he kind of did. Out, lifted off a bit there. Session there at SF3, but he's managed to rejoin. Coming into sector three now, it's looking a very good clean lap so far from Fruit Boy. He really needs a good result here today because obviously to take the championship fight for the next two races. He's coming up now. I don't want to invalidate there. DRS open. Up to the line and he sets a 122.4. I don't know if that's the fastest lap we had. No, we haven't. We had a 21, didn't we? So Shane goes fast, this is 22-1. Cross Creek, 22-5. Sorry, 22-2. We've got a Red Bull uh, of Stygian. So, the Stygian fan club. Are the Stygian fan club going to be happy? With a 22-5, they're not, because he's only fourth fastest so far. Big Eagles next. No, sorry. It, 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 it switch next. Stretch! No! The Chicane of Doom! No. Oh. Ipswich goes 36-1, gets himself a cheeky little banker in, and here comes Eagle. I haven't seen much of Eagle today. Eagle, Eagle third quickest with a 22-2. We've lost another car. We've lost another car at that. Look how close that is, though, for the top three. Yeah. Cross key, 22-2. 1.3 tenths in it. 22-1 for Shane. Victim 5 at the chicane of death. Big F's in the chat. Shane is bloody massive. <laughs> they got to take it easy, man. 
Yeah, man. In it's, the race. it's just. I mean, uh, Fruit Boy. Fruit Boy's going to go again now. I think he's down on. Yeah, he's well down on his previous lap. Crossgrey's dipping into the pits. Shane had invalidated, so he's going again. We've got Stidge coming through, who's two seconds over. So is either going to go again or is he going to jump in the pits? Jumps in the pits. Ipswich. Looks like he might be setting a good lap. Yeah, he's going to keep going. Won't be the best lap, I don't think, of the day so far. Mr. Whippy, the Mr. Whippy Chicane, a.k.a. Chicane of Death, a.k.a. Chicane of Doom. <laughs> and we've lost Fruit Boy, is it? Fruit Boy spins it at turn two, three. He's managed to keep going, though. Again, totally lost the car. But he's in fourth place, so he's going to be thinking, oh, I want to get at least on the front row. I can, Mr. Gasly. We are at Melbourne, Australia for the Tier 3 Australian Grand Prix for RSF1, and it's live! An exclusive. <laughs> well, I think the other guys are going to dip in. So, Stretch is going to start P7 as long as Pazuzu doesn't bin it. Uh, sorry, P8 as long as Pazuzu doesn't bin it here. Oh, and he invalidates. But importantly, he doesn't bin it. Shane. Shane. Let's go, Shane. Five tenths quicker. Let's go, the Shane. Eagle. 21-7. Oof. Saucy. <laughs> Mr. Max Verstappen F. How you doing, sir? Hope you're doing very well. Welcome in. For the race. New favourite for the race. New favourite for the race. Another committee member winner, perhaps. Yeah, Camel won the other day, didn't he? What's, what's good, Mr. Steffi? How you doing, fella? Unlucky in uh, Q2, mate. Right, Pazuzu's yeah, got to go again. Shane, win, if Shane wins today, then it will be... Uh, didn't Cornish win the other day as well? Yeah, he won the other day. Uh, we had Cornish. Camo. Camo won. Muddy won. Did Cornish win as well? He won... Um, the weeks back, I believe. Yeah. I think um, um, one of the guys was running well, and then they had a, a big, massive um, bug in the lobby. Ugh. And uh, Cornish ended up luck, uh, lucking in. Can you say? I'm Martin Tyler, joined by my commentary partner, Alan Smith, and it's live! There you go. Uh, yeah, Cornish, no. Camel raced... Uh, yeah, Camel raced and won on Monday evening, I believe. I think I was watching it. Right, Pazuzu. Yeah, Cornish, won. Cornish won. A race. Yeah, I'm sure Cornish won. Not this week, I don't think. Maybe last week. No, I don't mean this week. I mean, he has won a race this season. This season? Ah. My highest points position this season is ninth. Right, here we go. Pazuzu coming around the final corner. He's just got to keep the car in a straight line. And sets himself a 22-9. We have three minutes and 30 seconds left of Q3. We are in the shootout. We have seven drivers remaining. Who is going to be first out of the pits to challenge Shane for the provisional pole of 21-7? We've got Eagle, the championship leader, in second place on 22-2. Crosscree also set in a 22-2 in the Alpha Romeo. Fruit Boy, the championship challenger. Trying to keep the championship alive this week in P4. On an outlap now. Out he comes with a 22-4. Stigin and Pazuzu in the two Red Bulls with a 22-5 and a 22-9 respectively. And then Mr. Tekkers in the... Uh, I can never tell what colour that car is. It is a... Is it a Williams or an Alpine? I don't know. I think that's Williams, that one. Yeah. <coughs> or is it? <laughs> There's never somebody behind me on the stairs. Don't you worry about that. Don't forget, I can see the camera at all times. Ladies and gentlemen, worry not. I 
imagine trolling the commentator. Right. So, outlaps. We've got Tekkers on an outlap. I said Fruit Boy outlap. Yeah, so Fruit Boy will be first one through, mate, if you uh, want to talk us through his yeah. remaining hot lap. This probably yeah, yeah. is going to be the only one. <gasps> yeah, he's got the DRS up, but now this is going to be... I wonder if he's got a fresher tyres for this one than he did for the previous lap. That's why he wasn't challenging for the top. But... He is coming up on this lap now. He wants to get. He didn't take that very well. He caught the chicane there. He didn't take it as well as he did the first time out. I don't believe. But this is the first checkpoint of the sector. Oh, yeah, I can see the first yeah, checkpoint. Cabo V Michaels, who wants to see it in season seven? Sodding. My head does not look <laughs> like a sodding tic tac. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Purple sector one. Purple sector one. That's what I like to see. Come on. Look at better than I thought he did. <laughs> uh, coming up here now into the breaking zone. So you've got this long left hand here, which you want to take as tightly as possible. And he's going to swing out there to the far corner. And he wants to go flat out here. Now he's going to really push it now. He does really push it this oh, time. Oh, God. Just holds it. And then uh, DRS open again. This is looking a very good lap from uh, Fruit Boy, yeah. He's going to do in this final sector. He's going to need it to, to improve his time by at least seven tenths. Oh, we've lost an Ipswich Techers in sector one. What, five tenths, sorry. Or six tenths to get pole. What's he going to do? And he goes oh, pole. Oh, free boy! Wait, seven thousandths! Seven thousandths! What's Shane doing? Shane's on and out there. Right. Uh, Eagles on a lap. He's coming at the end of his lap and he's three tenths up. Eagle, sector three. I got you, you're on board. He's three tenths up on his lap, so that would take him. No, he wouldn't get it. He needs to find a couple more tenths in this final couple of corners. He's coming back to the final pit straight. He's Sierra definitely sector. capable. Can he make it up? Yes, he does. Doesn't go Doesn't quick make enough. It up. Doesn't must have lost it in that final sector. Button did say he'd do a 21.7, but he needed to be a 21.76. He did a 21.77. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice it. He was close, but... Look how close it is. Nil Cigaro. And I think I think we're done, mate, are we? Is Cross Korea on a lap? Cross Korea's in 10th. Yeah, he's in 10th. He's... Down, and we've lost. Oh, my word! Oh. We nearly hit Ipswich oh, Techers there. Yeah. No, Mikey, no! This is not so right! <coughs> Lost, they didn't get, didn't get it. And the Alpha Tauri's around. The Alpha's around, so Shane's gone round as well. Yeah. So he can Crossbury improve? Pushing. Can Crossbury have a... No, he can't! No, he bins it on the start finish line! Crossbury out! And he sat in the middle of the track. Do we have anybody else on a lap? I don't think we do. Thankfully... I think all our drivers are complete and finished. Eagle, is yeah. Eagle on a lap? Or did Eagle not get round quick enough? Shane's on a lap, but he's he, he messed up, so... No, everyone's all right. Oh, got a car disappears just in time. Yeah, Eagle Eagle was done, I think. Eagle went... Oh, my Shane. God. Eagle went four tenths faster on that lap that he was out on. Sweet baby Jesus. Go, Shane. I won't repeat the second part, Hippo. But I bet he's got it though. He's now by seven thousandths of a second there, Shane. Fruit Boy gets pole. That's what Fruit Boy needed for the championship. Shane in second place. Eagle, his championship rival in third. Uh, Cross Carey in fourth. Stitchin, who thought he'd get pole, didn't. RS at one. Kazushu in seventh. They've switched Techers and RS at one stretch. Incredible. 15 thousandths of a second between Fruit Boy, Shane and Eagle. What a top three that is. Amazing. Incredible. Cross Creek DNF'd in the end, as did Stretch. Wow. Well, one thing you could say for Shane, though, he did try and push to try and beat that time. And... Um, 
unfortunate for him. He dropped it, but you know that's what we want to see in it. Yeah, Stidgen got blocked by his teammate at the pits. Stidgen problem, I think. I think you're right there, Hunt. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have rain. torrential rain. Boys, Ronaldo, Ronaldo rain. shoots, scores, rush the corner, and... Yeah, we uh, we do have torrential rain, stars. So what's your what's your thought process now? Is, oh, I mean, I don't know. We need the intel no. from Melbourne, really, don't we? We need to we need to understand if it's going to dry out or not. Well, rain from the start suggests that there is going to be a dry patch. The way he pronounced it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain um, at the start of the race, he said. It all he tells depends. It dry. What they're like in the rain. I mean, you could have one guy who's like at the back, but he's really good in the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But I'm looking forward to it. I think, based around quali, my suggestion would be to everybody, chill out a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's an early start there, isn't it? Right, on you go, mate. Uh, are you starting at the back? Well, yeah. I'll, uh, a couple oh of cars God. there smash into the <laughs> barriers. <laughs> <laughs> you got Gia... Uh, sorry, um, GRGF Shank Sharky at the back. Uh, Piggy Man, 16th, 15th place, we've got SSR Gasly. 14th is Breezy. 13th, we've got S33 and 11. What a very weird name. Uh, Braver Container, who dropped in qualifying. Steffi Murphy in P11. Geeson in P10. Turbo Tafen, uh, P9, RSF1 Stretch in P8, then you've got Ipswich Tekka in P7, RSF1 Pazusu, a good qualifying for him, in P6, Stitchin, uh, uh, Dutch Fair, uh, in P5, Cross Carry in P4, and then Eagle, the Championship Leader in P3, who can win the championship today, and then RSF1, Shane, and then Fruit Boy, the other championship contender, who's got what he needed in the pole position. Yeah, so let's have a quick check on those permutations then in the championship, if I can find it. Bear with me. <clears throat> so, uh, for Eagle to win the championship today, he's got to win with a fastest lap and Fruit Boy finish 7th or lower or win with no fastest lap and Fruit Boy finish 8th or lower so at the minute as it stands before we even start the, the, the championship goes to next week so we're saying Eagle's going to win Gasly 2nd Pazuzu 3rd with 5 finishing Hunt is Fruit Boy going to finish and therefore, does the championship go to next week? As the cars line up on the grid. I think we're going to try and get this from our championship leaders on board view. To start with. We're waiting for the cars to line up. Here we go. We will have lights very shortly. One, two, three, four, five. And it's showtime at Australia. Welcome in for the RSF4, uh, oh my God, RSF1 Formula 3 Grand Prix. As Crosscree loses it at the four, start. Five, Eagle straight five, in second. Going into the corner. The, uh, Austin, Austin Martin of uh, Steffi Wethy's on that spot. Uh, oh, we've got on. damage. There's, There's a, a Ferrari crash. round. It's Van Geisen, yeah. is it? Yeah. Steffi oh Wethy's down to 16th place. Steffi down a 16. Big collision there. The Haas has got damage as well. He's got no front wing. Of, uh, SS33. Yeah, I can see that. Does Turbo have damage? Turbo has no front wing. There's a lot of no front wings kicking around here, guys. Oh my god, there's an Alpha no. Tauri! Causing absolute chaos. It's Sharky. Who Turbo stays alive. Is always going around. He's going on the outside of the. Alpine. Oh, Alpine. the Alpine. Piggy Man's yeah. got damage. Turbo Typhoon's yeah. got damage. Sharky's got damage. Braver 
What's happened to Braver? Braver's round. Braver's round has got to wait right till the very end. He's now last. But as long as he's not got damage... He can keep going. He can keep going. He might have lost an end plate, actually. Let's jump back up to the front of the track. Fruit Boy extending over a second in front of Eagle. Eagle a second, 1.3 seconds in front of Crosscree, who's a second in front of Stygian. Pazuzu sticking on the back. Let's, let's, let's have a quick look here at the positions change. Whatever. Where's my position change? Right, winners off the line. Sharky up seven. Breezy up six. Eagle cross Green's with on the back of the Red Bull. I can't find him. There we go. Can I have a look on the inside, Z? No. Well, what a start. So Shane lost that. Start. He lost that big time there at the start. Shane. How many cars have we got going? One, two, three, four, He's five, six. He's having a look. He's having a look. He is. Shane is. He's got the move done. Is he going to stick it around that next corner? Oh, I don't think he can. But he's going to get him back on the cutback. What and a move. move done. What a move, Shane. What a move. We had seven cars in the pits after lap one. Well, thank God they didn't DNF. That's, that's all I can say. Yeah, that is the good news, isn't it? Nobody has DNF. So we've got a race from first to tenth. Well, first to eighth, a race between nine and ten, and then a race from eleven down. We've got three races. Unity, welcome in. Shane, stay away from the Red Bulls. He's actually in a Red Bull sandwich. Or should I say he's an Alpha Tauri sandwich now with two Red Bull pieces of bread. Sharky's having a look at the um, uh Steffi. Oh. Oh, Turbo. Turbo, Turbo, Turbo is out at turn midway, oh, no. through, midway through sector one. Turn three. Turbo Typhoon is out. We've got a virtual safety car. Virtual safety car, everybody. It's the first one of the night. Up to you, Rage. But I always go on broadcast that starts to see all the grid first few corners. Only a pin. Yeah. Hey, no worries, pal. I just wanted to try and get it from um, championship leader's perspective in P3 there. But I get you. But we've got a virtual will, safety car. Will, will it go to uh, full... I could bring the other guys back into contention from yeah. the 11 down. Yeah, if it goes full, that kind of tightens everything back up again. Steffi's pitted and picks up our first penalty. Five seconds speeding in the pit lane. Oh, so, so easy to do. So what's Steffi coming for? Must have had wing damage, surely. Must have had wing damage. Surely had wing damage. 30, 31, 32, 33, something like Every that. Penalty Viewers, speed and the safety oh, car for Steffi. Steffi. Steffi's race is going from bad to worse. We've got a flag in sector three. Is that somebody on the start finish line? Spun it? Mr. Gasly spun it on the start finish line. We've, uh, we're, we're away from virtual safety car now. Back racing again. Back racing, right. Where's the action? Where's the action, Stars? Direct me, sir. Zusu at the moment is the closest, I believe. And Stygian. Stygian is... Oh, right Steffi! Of, uh... Steffi's no. binned it in Sector 2! No. It's, oh, he's right in the middle of the track as well. Worse. Surely that's going to be a safety car. Surely. Surely there's going to be a massive accident there if... Because he's right in the middle of the track. How is that not a safety car? How is that not a safety car? Hopefully Gasly gets by him. Oh no, it's a big crash. Gasly's smashed into him. Lost his front wing. Oh, see, Gasly's still... Oh no, that is so unfortunate. Gasly's got to come uh, back into the pits. Why was there no safety car yeah. there, Stars? Yeah. I just don't understand that. That is ridiculous. After yesterday, the other day, somebody got um, went off the track and did get no damage, nothing. Full safety car. Unbelievable. Yeah, uh, uh, one. Unbelievable. But he just caught the car as it was disappearing. That is unlucky. Yeah. So we got Techers with three seconds for um, 
exceeding track limits at the moment. Quickest lap well, is Shane Braver. It's right on the back of us. They should just put him under massive pressure now. Yeah, you're on board. So, you're on board. Yeah, he's he's got the move done earlier to get back up into fifth, but uh, let's see. Uh, he's just at the back of this little train here. So we've got uh, four ahead of him, but. I think Stigian's been held up by cross keys, but Eagle there in front of him, I believe he's taking it fairly easy, Eagle. He yeah. doesn't want to push it too hard. He's got the championship to think of, and Fruit Boy is literally gone now. Yeah, Fruit Boy, three seconds down the road, as Breezy sets the new fastest lap. But, like I say, maybe the these guys here now in the top five, they're probably just going to be waiting now until it starts to dry up a bit. Because, I don't know, does the weather look as though it's drying up? Um, I don't see too much change in the weather. We've still got rain falling from the sky. And there's, there's definitely no dry line yet on the track. Just looking from the back of Stygian's rear wing to Shane, half a second down. Sky looks a little bit bright, huh? It does look a bit bright, you're right. Hopefully we'll see it stop before halfway so we can see some real good racing action. Yeah. On some different compounds. It is, it is hard to overtake either way. Yeah. You just don't get the drive of uh, the, the over the over speed. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. We've, we've got a little bit more intel from uh, Melbourne in chat. Button has come in and said there's 10 more minutes of rain. So you're right, it's brightening up a little bit. We can yeah, see the skyline of Melbourne in the distance. There Stitching is a, goes a little bit deep. Oh, Stitching went deep there. He's allowed Shane to catch up. He's within three and a half tenths now. It doesn't look as though it's bright enough. Look at the fuel light there. On Stigin. St yeah, Stigin's fuel light is yellow already. I can't quite see from the... Uh, I can't quite see from the steering wheel because my eyes aren't as good as they used to be when I was 20 years younger. Yeah, he's, he's got a uh, yellow fuel light. So he was obviously hoping for a full safety car. Double says that Stigian probably under fuel because of rain and probably because he thought there'd be about 47 safety cars as well, Double. Yeah. As per other races. We've got some racing going on towards the back of the pack here. Let's catch up with with Tekkers, who's holding up a whole bunch as Van Geisen goes round she uh, Sheen. Sheen goes back round oh, him. Oh, no contact. And they're out. And they're both out! No! The stewards may well have a little field day. And there's a proper safety car. Yep. We've got a full That's safety saved, car. Saved stitch in there. <laughs> yeah. That's safe stitch. So what we do in then? Lap six. Is any do you Last think anybody's brought. gonna come in? It's too early. For the uh drives. Too early for any any yeah. slicks, yeah. Just thought somebody might have dipped in for fresh of intermediates, but if there's only 10 minutes of rain, I guess. No point. Maintain track position. Yeah. So that's our first Maybe safety car. First Gasly safety might. Car. Hmm. Gasly's so far behind, he's got to make up that time. But yeah, somebody's just out there car. because Pazuzu has just lost a position to stretch. Oh, Pazuzu did come in the pits. Yeah. So maybe Pazuzu had a little bit of damage. Could well have. Oh, he's coming for fresh. There's Tekkers. Is he on um, a three-second time penalty? Yeah, oh. three seconds. It's not a five-second. He could have come in and uh, got rid of that. But yeah. Wow. Well, what a start we've had, guys. We, we are seven laps in, or we're on our seventh lap. We've had a virtual safety car, a safety car. We've had four retirements so far. Look at that, though. Hip switch Tekka, 50 seconds down. Yeah. Then you've got Gasly, who's down there, about 50 seconds down. <laughs> yeah, and, and Gasly, 
Gasly's letting people through, which is okay, as long as the game allows him to let people through. Thank you very much for the hydrate, Aaron. He's going to be a lap down, Gasly, now. Yeah, he's, um... Yeah, he was a lap down, wasn't he? So now he's going to be a full lap down to everybody. On the restart, he's got to get out of the way of a Red Bull... So he's going to have to get out of the way of Pazuzu, Tekkers, Braver and Piggy. It's so bad, this game. Like, you can't... Tell me about it. It cost me a race <laughs> win at Portugal on Sunday. I was absolutely devastated. I'd driven the race clean. I had no penalties. I was in P5. There were two back markers who were in P10 and 11 and behind the safety car in between me and P4. And the guys wouldn't yeah. get out of the way. Mm. So I ended up... Uh, they, they cost me two seconds and I lost the race by 1.69 seconds. For my, that would have been my oh. first league dub. Yeah. I was furious. I've come close in the past. I've never been so well, cross. Few P2s, P3s. Yeah, yeah. But closest I came was um, Austria in another lead. And I was leading the race and uh, going well. And mm. this guy pit under pitted me and <clears throat> came out on fresh tyres and managed to get me in the last couple of laps. Oh. But, uh, Double yeah, says five minutes. Five minutes of rain. Mm. Vevtich says Sharky for the win. Okay. You always remember your first league dub. I'm sure when I get there, Humpty, I'll remember it. <laughs> hey, Turbo. Unlucky, pal. Yeah, I'm not a fan of wet racing either. I can see a little dry line appearing on the track now as well, which is good news for the guys. Five minutes of rain. So maybe by the time we get to, I don't know, lap 12... I don't know whether we're going to have one more lap of safety car or not, because Piggy is quite far off the back of this group. They might go around once again, or the game might just uh, say, screw it, let's do it. Yeah. Sure. I've had, like, about ten podiums in other leagues. And, wow. Uh, never won in RSF1. In all six seasons I've been in RSF1, never had one. Yeah, I've, 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 I, my, best, my best finish in RSF1 is ninth. I was close, close. I actually came close this season to getting a podium. Yeah. In um, and then they stole it from me on the last couple of laps. A safety car came out and everyone came out with fresh tyres. Oh, that is me that like, is great work, Gasly. Well done. I've just watched Gasly drive off the track onto the grass to let Braver and Piggy through. Piggy? No, he, let, he just let Braver and Ipswich through. So he's left Ip, he's, he's let Ipswich and Braver through by driving off the track. Aaron's personal best is 11th. Mine was in USA, wet to dry. I pitted to dry his last lap. Started in fourth, 20 seconds behind leader. Won by a tenth. Now that's close. That's close. Right, this will be our final safety car lap. I am absolutely convinced because Mr. Piggy is going to catch up to the back. My first and only win was at Monaco. I finished P... P3 at Monaco last week? Week before? P3 at Monaco? No penalties. Last six races I've had, no penalties. I don't know who's more amazed, me or everybody else. <laughs> right, so Piggy is on to the back. Now, is Gasly going to do the same thing and get out of the way? Let's have a quick look. May as well. He's a lap down, so he may as well just jump out of the way again. I don't know where he's going to, though, this time. Yep, yep, there he goes. Onto the grass. Well done. Well done, Gasly. I think we should have a little bit of a round of applause. Collective round of applause for Gasly. For unbreaking the game. Well done, sir. Yeah, I, I do feel for him being a lap down. Right, then. Which car should we jump on board with, mate? That's got to be Fruit Boy, isn't it, really? Fruit Boy, let's jump on with Fruit Boy. Right, then. Everyone spam hydrate. He tried to drown me, Aaron. Safety car. Leaders in first and second place. Safety car in this lap confirmed. How is Fruit Boy going to... And we've got dry weather coming up. 
Yeah, it's exciting times, boys. Exciting times. I need to get... I've got the safety car and virtual safety car gifts. I need a green flag gift for, for next time. It's good job, I'm, good job I'm not drinking beer, lads. That's all I can say. Okay, here we go. Safety car dips into the pits. Unity return. No cursing for 1500. I'll do my very best, but I can't promise anything, quite frankly. Where does the good boy go? Okay, here we go. When's he gonna go? When's he gonna go? I think he's go gone. There we go. Safety car light is out, and away goes Fruit Boy. Did he catch Eagle a little bit on the hop there? We've got a little bit of tasty stuff happening between. I'm gonna have a look. Oh. Got the Aston Martin of Breezy. Being defended by Shane, who tries to dive on the inside, maybe. Let's just keep it clean for this lap, guys. Keep it clean. At least till we get to the chicane of death. Oh, look at it. It's stopped raining. It it has stopped raining. It has stopped raining. When are we gonna see DRS enabled? Because that'll be the indicator. Few drops there, but not nothing really. I think it's definitely a stop. Let's have a quick look Just from there. If you'd actually timed it on the last lap of the uh, safety car and just went for a toss. Yeah. You know, Everybody takes it pretty steady through chicane of death through the whippy whippy. Hunt says, definitely in, in, box. in, in, in. Dry tyres. Box, box. Definitely dry tyres now. Can Who, see everyone coming in now. Who's going to blink first? Ooh, Fruit Boy looks a little bit squirrely. Fruit Boy is not diving in. Neither no is Eagle. Is. Cross Grease stays out. Stygian stays out. Shane out. Breezy stays out. Stretch. Everybody staying out on track. No, we've got one in. Piggies made the move. Piggy is the man we need to watch right now. Got to be medium tyres. Yep, mediums. Goes on the mediums. Let's get away from penalties for a second. On to the mediums. Right, he's first one to blink. So we got Stitch in four tenths off the back of Cross Curry. Are we going to see... Are we going to see anything out? Matty. Good evening, Matty. How are you doing, fella? Great. Ribbon Woody says there. double stat. Come on, Stygian, says Aaron. Muddy bit. If they can get to lap 14, they can take softs to the end. Oh, my God. I was watching Stygian. He, he nearly went to the end. Breezy now on the back of Stygian after that mistake. And he's going to go around the outside, and he's going to take P5. How's it going, Matty? Are you good? If they can get to lap 14, they can take softs to the end. Do you think they're going to stay out on Inters for another three laps? Muddy? What are we saying? Well, Piggy Munch, sorry, Piggy Man, is matching the times ahead of him at the moment. He's also just picked up his first three-second time penalty. So he's... Not oh, close, this yeah. contact between Stretch and Stygian and Sharky. So Sharky takes P, takes P7. Pazuzu gets around Stretch as well. Is Stretch going to make a move back on the inside? He's not. He's not going to. He's not going to have the front line speed to catch up with Pazuzu. Oh, they're all fighting massively here now. So Piggy Looking isn't good. doing great. No, I think Piggy must have lost it. He's 13 seconds down. He's probably out of spinach. And goes the dive bomb. And he gets it done on the LP. Good work, Braver. I think uh, Ipswich went a little bit deep there. He breathes the by Stitchin. He did. Stitchin right had a little bit of action. Uh, stretch now. Gasly? Braver, Braver, Braver's on the move now. Gasly's just popped out on a set of softs. Oh, I wouldn't have gone socks. 
I might not have gone soft. No, Braver! Oh, no, Braver's just lost some of his front wing as he barrels into the back of Stretch. Halfway through Sector 2. Yeah, he was right on the back of the ass. Let's jump up with Shane. Yeah, you're on board with Shane, buddy. Shane. Or do you want to be on board with Stitch? Breezy and uh, Stitch and the two guys fighting at the moment because uh stitching dropped down a couple of places through there for a mistake but uh is it time now to come in for the dry tire still no it's it's now. well we definitely know somebody's going to end up in the pits it's going to be braver container let's go on board with picky to have a look what he's doing uh, he's struggling those dry tires we've got two cars in we got Braver Container and Ipswich Techers. I don't know what happened to Ipswich. He seemed to take a very strange line into the pits there. Techers gets the five Maybe seconds. Because we haven't had a sign yet to say DRS enabled. No, we oh. haven't, have we? There we go. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time to and as if by magic. By the way, Eagle is only half a second off the back of Fruit Boy here. So, yeah. P1 and 2 in the championship, P1 and 2 in the race, with Shane and Crosscurry and Breezy and Stidgin. So it's a top right. it's a top six battle at the moment. Who's gonna who's gonna blink first in the top six then? As we've lost Braver Container on the medium tires. He's just spin it at turn one. So the four players we've got at the moment on slicks have not gone particularly well. Softs may be a gamble, but might make it. Push, thank you very much for the uh, hydrate again, sir. Hope oh, you're drinking as well, eh, Stars? My drink's empty at the moment. Oh, <laughs> mate. Yeah. And Brave has lost it again. He's struggling with us. Uh, try tires. Yeah, Brave has Even lost it again DLS down at turn enabled. three, four. And here we go. Action in the pits. Fruit Boy, Eagle, Shane, Crossgreed, Breezy, Stidgin, Sharky, Pazuzu, Who's Pazuzu. Everybody in the Some pitch. Oh, no. Some. Sharky, five seconds. And Stretch almost barreled into the back of Pazuzu there. Softs for Fruit Boy. Mediums for Eagle. Softs for Shane. Softs for Breezy. Medium for Stidgin. Medium for Crossgreed. Softs for Sharky. There's a pretty even split between softs and mediums here. Box, 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 says Double. We, we need to get some emotes, guys. Let's arrange getting some emotes made, please. I know some artists. Gasly with the fastest lap of the race. 33.5. He's got those soft tires going now. Does that mean he's less than a lap down? Yeah, he's less than a lap down, so he's... he's Shane's really got gone. the move done on that. Oh, he yes. does. He has. Wow. Those soft tyres are working then. Oh! There's contact! Breezy clatters Eagle. Did Eagle get damaged? I don't think Eagle got damaged, but I'm surprised Breezy hasn't. Most likely will be a safety tires. car, so softs ain't a bad call. Yeah, absolutely, Hush. Those medium tyres are struggling. Oh, we've got a Ferrari round. Chicane of death, a Ferrari round. Fruit it's Fruit Boy. Boy. I just saw it popping up there. It's like, uh, get, get up back. Most important thing, though, is he survived. Breezy no now. Visible damage. Box, 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 says the one. If Shane wins today, it will be a committee hat trick this week, says Muddy. Coming from another previous winner this week, of course. I like to hear that. So with DRS enabled, the only car I can see with DRS in the top six now is Crosscurry. As DRS, the uh, the rear wing is wide open as he chases down Stigin. Gets within three oh, tenths. We obviously wasn't close enough. Fruit Boy's got to really have the race of his life now. Yeah. As it stands... The championship still goes to next week. Eagle's going to have DRS. No, he's not. He's just lost it. Well, we've still got half of the race to go, so there's still a long way to go. But those soft tyres, I think it's going to be a pinch to get them to the end, though. 
No, sure. exactly, exactly. I think Eagles made the right call. It was the medium tire. Yeah. So Shane leads. Three seconds in front of Breezy. A second in front of Eagle. 1.7 in seconds in front of Stitching. Cross Creek's going to get DRS, as is Sharky. And then we've got Fruit Boy down now in P7. After that spin. Stitching's on the mediums as well. Cross carry. So. They'll be thinking of the, uh, the long game, really. Yeah, we're playing long game. I wonder if that's going to give Sharky... Oh, we've got another car off. It's Fruit Boy off again. Fruit Boy oh, off no. again. He's dropped down to P9. Shane goes quickest with a 28.2. Got wing damage as well. Oh, no. That so, really does that's... now put the championship in the lap of Eagle. Yeah. I think that's it now. Still think, a long way uh, to go. We've got safety cars that, that can have an impact on this but uh, yeah. yeah Fruit Boy's just got out of the way which is fantastic for Fruit Boy well done to him if I was him go on mediums now oh and he picks up five seconds oh, yeah. and he retires from and he retires he retires I but his car's going to come back out oh it'll only come out for a little bit yeah it's going to come out Walked and then it's going to retire on track won't it oh no it hasn't it has but, retired uh, yeah, it has retired I would have kept going personally if you're fighting for the championship, but uh, it's up to him. He did have a couple of bad moments there, really. It's just unfortunate. It, it is unfortunate, but I, I agree with uh, I agree with Hunt. I think you've uh, I think you've got to stay out there. You're fighting for a championship. The way that the uh, the way that the races have been going this week so far, we know that there's going to be safety cars. Or there's, there's certainly been safety cars. You're not out yeah. of the championship because of one five-second penalty and one trip to the pits to yeah. get a wing. You know, you have to yeah. keep going. Half the race, like you said before, there's half the race left to go. Um, Eagles on a set of mediums. You know, there's an opportunity to, to gain places. There's an opportunity to, yeah. to make up. Yeah, absolutely, Matty. Hippo button back... It, Button backing his boy, absolutely. Pressure getting to fruit. Come on, Eagle. So, um, essentially, Eagle just has to finish the race in the top six now, Muddy, I think. Eagle needs second now to win the championship. Oh, does he? Braver is still alive. Braver is indeed still alive. Right, who do you want to jump on board with, mate? Do you want to jump on board with Sharky on them softs? Let's have a look where Sharky is. There we are. Yeah, he's uh, right at the back of Stitchin. Stitchin is holding him there. Sharky's on the uh, soft tyre. So, can he get his tyres to the end? He's got a penalty of a uh, nice seconder. If he can try and get the move later on if he does pit. But he's really God. all over the back of the medium runners. I was going to say, tell me he's not going to make yeah. a move into the shade of death. Christ. No. He's low on ERS. But he is going to make a move here, I think. Trying to cover the inside line there. Stitching does it pretty well. Yeah, they both had DRS as well. Up. He'd be setting them up for the uh, pit straight. But yeah. He has closed up to this little pack. Yeah. Of uh, medium runners. Sure. Uh, thank you very much, Buddy. Appreciate that, mate. And yes, Hippo, yeah, if he gets third, he got the advantage. He's, got, he's right up his gearbox now. Is he going to try for the late move? He still doesn't go for it. Yeah, he's still got... Uh, Stitching's still got DRS off the back of Cross Curry as well, so that's helping him defend that yeah. position. Eagle needs 20 yeah. points over today and the last two races. Okay. Should yeah, Stitching's be getting easy. Dragged along by Cross Key. Harry. But the podium now is anyone's at home, really. Uh, say the top six, really. No, I agree. I agree that, you know, how long can those um, soft tyres last for Shane and Breezy? Obviously, the championship leader, Eagle, Crosscurry, Stygian and Sharky. With Pazuzu now 10 seconds back, I would suggest he's... Well, you don't know. Might be a safety car. He might come back into it. Yeah. He's quietly kept out of trouble, Pazuzu. Stygian's going backwards. Yes, there you go. See? Whoop, whoop. Uh, Matty says, in another league I'm in, if you retire in the pits, you get a quali ban. You can only retire in the pits if you have rear wing damage or floor damage. You need to send proof of it. Blimey. Mm. 
And I understand that from a from a integrity of the league and quality of the racing, I guess. Eagle basically has it now, unless horrific bad luck. Yeah. Stitch is going back. Was there any other, as a wet setup? He might have a wet setup, mate. Yeah. But he's he's only five tenths off the back of cross green. Well, Breezy's dropping back now from Shane. So here he is. Yes, way back. Uh, Shane's really um, got this race kind of under control. He has, yeah. But Stigin is still under pressure there from Sharky. Sharky's got these five laps old fresh tyres, but you feel that um, that oh, these tyres are mediums. I thought there was going to be contact uh, there for a second between Sharky and Stitch. Yeah, he's got so much over speed. Kind of biding his time there, really. Yeah, Gasly's gone next, and we've got a safety car, guys. Gasly has gone. Ooh, safely car. At See, turn two. Safety Root car. Boy now could have been in contention. stigeon has got a dry setup on. Okay, so we've got a safety car. Right, okay, in chat. what What's the play in chat now, guys? Everybody's on five lap old tyres, certainly in the top half of our remaining <laughs> field. What are you doing here, Stars? If you are... Well, Pazuzu, I guess you're just going to come in, right? Pazuzu, definitely. All the ones down there would go in for sauce. Um, I, if I was Sharky, he's got a bit of a gap to Pazuzu, and I would expect the guys behind him, they're going to pit. So I would go in yeah, for a fresh everybody's, everybody's jumping in. Everybody fresh yeah. softs. We've got, uh, from a penalties perspective, Sharky gets to oh, take off Sharky a penalty. Another, no, he's, he's on the safety car. One, no. He's got another one. Oh, unbelievable. Gets jumped in the got pits as well by Dustigin. Oh, no, Dustigin doesn't jump him. Oh, shut up. If I was Stretch, I'd stick it out on the mediums. Stretch came in. Did he? Stretch came in. Sharky's in. Pazuzu's on his way back out again. So, everyone on will be on fresh softs now to the yeah. end 10 laps easily get there yeah because i think they'll have three under safety car easy tires then double says that first will be breezy second will be eagle and third will be stygian what's going to happen to shane double what about shane what's going to happen to shane sitting duck though hippo if he did that softs op indeed they are certainly down that home straight that start finish straight aston's looking good it's one of the few Astons that's looked good, quite frankly, this season. We've had an absolute shocker this year. We're over 400 points in the uh, Constructors' Championship off. Shane's going to bin it. I'm sorry, but it's what I think. Thought he would go to lead. Didn't realise the gap to the rest of the drivers. Yeah. There is a bit of a gap. I got confidence in uh, Shane tonight. He's looking good. He's kept it. Tidy in the midfield. He had a couple of over uh, during the early part of the race. Yeah, he had a couple of overtakes. So Ipswich has had his five seconds taken off. Sharky had one five second taken off and then managed to acquire another one. We're going to have at least one more lap of safety car, if not two, because Braver, who somehow is still 20 seconds off the back of Piggy, I know he was a long way down anyway, wasn't he? In He's shame we trust. Mr. Hunt says, points. in shame we trust. Love it. Yeah, come on, Shane. Could you look at the warnings of the drivers? Let's get to the race director real quick. Um, how do we see... Oh, God, they're all just collisions. You can't see because my fat head's in the way. So, Sheen has got an exceeding yeah, track limits. Tekkers... Stigin has got a warning for exceeding trap limits. Techers again. Techers again. Techers again. Piggy Man. Fruit Boy. Shane warning for trap limits. That's one for Shane. One for Stretch. Another one for Stigin, so that's two. Another one for Shane, that's two. Piggyman, Piggyman, Braver, Braver, Ipswich, Sharky, 
Gasly's out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Exceeding track limits, Fruit Boy, one. Exceeding track limits again for Tekkers. He's had a few. Sharky, Piggy, Sharky, Stretch, Tekkers, Tekkers, Gasly, Sharky, Piggy. So it looks like go on lap times each driver rage. How do I do that, sir? Oh, a few lap times. There you go. Okay, so we've got two drivers, one warning away, have we? Oh, no. One driver. Hey, we're coming, to, we're coming to the end of the safety car. Right. I could I could do that. That's a learning point. Every day is a school day, Hunt, you know? Every day is a school day. Learning curve for me. <laughs> I know where to find it now, rather than guesswork and counting. But thank you. The safety car is coming in this lap, though. Here we go. We know that Shane has got two. And I believe Stidgin's got two, and Fruit Boy's got two as well. Uh, sorry, Fruit Boy's out, isn't he? So it doesn't really matter. So I didn't see any for Eagle. Crossquay's broken his front port, wing. Yeah. Good grief. Shane's no, no. gone. No, he's all right. Breezy's right at the back of him. Can he get the move done onto turn one? Breezy. Go for a late one. Nope. Shane got away pretty well there. But he did, but Breezy's all over look. him. Piggy, come on. the inside line, mate. Oh, almost contact there. They're breaking away from the uh, rest of the field here, Breezy and uh, Shane. Shane's desperately trying to hold on from Breezy. He's supposed to get this first lap underway, but Shane. Get back on to try and break that pre uh, one second gap. Oh, like Breezy's got that pace, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Breezy's definitely He's got pace doing for Shane his here. Best. Oh, oh, no, <coughs> he does it side by side through the chicane. What an Shane gone then. Oh, no, we take through the uh, chicane of death. That has got to be. I'm clipping that. Yeah, it was a hell of an overtake. As Braver gets around Ipswich and Piggy. What an overtake. That is the overtake of the week. They both kept it clean as well through there. Yeah, it was super unbelievable. Hard. Cross Creek. Crossgree's in the pit, so Crossgree did have a broken wing. He's in the pits, drops down to P11. Piggy and Ipswich go into the points. Breezy really breezed around the outside of Mr. Whippy. So we're going to have like six laps now of uh, Shane and Breezy fighting for the uh, win. We've got Eagle in third, who's just sitting back just a little bit behind, only a second behind. Oh, Stigeon's Piggy. We lost Piggy. At T turn four. It's another safety car, guys. It's another safety car. I'm assuming no. nobody's going to come in. Overtake. Oh, no uh, are you saying uh, overtake off the track, Gasly? There looked okay to me. Oh, as uh, Piggy Man's cars just disappear. So we've got ten drivers left. Sprint race. Here we come. Says Double. Absolutely. Six laps to go. Six laps to go. Shane. Shane's going to be thinking to himself. Well, overtake of the year, says Gasly. Overtake of the year. That is unbelievable. That overtake. Yeah, five lap for anybody. If he, if he gets the win now, he deserves it after that. He does. It was. It was an amazing. It was an amazing overtake. Nobody is pitting at the minute, Hippo. By the look of it, mate. And Crossgree certainly won't because he's just dipped in for a fresh set of softs and a new wing. Nope. Well, hydrogen. I'm a bit gutted that there's a safety car because I'd love to have just seen them fighting out six laps to the end, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. Uh, oh, Tekkers comes into the pits. So you're basically going to have, what, possibly three laps now? And maybe no DRS, but two?
I could do 943 hydrates, and I'd sit here and urinate in the chair. Hippo? Quite frankly, that's what had happened there. <laughs> So, uh, out, out, out your, um, you've been racing in GT or something, uh, recently. So, how's that been going? In what, sorry, mate? How's Hunt been going? Because he's been racing in, uh, GT. Oh, has he? Oh. Yeah. Gasly's redeems, open the steering! I could do... 200, 200,000 hydrates. Um, I think I'd be in a little bit of bother. Push. Wait, I think I would. Right. What we saying? Safety car in? Well, it's been a, what, two laps, is it? Yeah, everybody's bank, banked up, bunched up. Is it going to be a late call? Come on, safety car in this lap. One more lap. Surely they're not going to go around again. Good grief. Yeah. Le Mans 24 hour, says Hunty last weekend. Got ninth out of 21 in class. Did like eight hours. Still tired. God, you're making me feel tired just thinking about it. Mm. That is nice, though, Hunt. Well done, mate. Right, well, they're definitely going to be in next time so let's jump on board with the p2 car shane ready for the restart going around that next uh eight hours of racing bloody hell yeah eight hours of racing is rough i did i did six hours of racing on sunday followed <sighs> by two hours of comms <laughs> and that was i get that was rough I get tired after a 50%. <laughs> yeah, honestly, mate, I was knackered. I raced 100 laps and then commentated on a further 36. Mm. But were there breaks in that? Eight hours? Like, must have been. Surely. What, for Hunt? You'd like to think so, yeah. wouldn't you? Two hour stints? Would be straight. Would be straight. Eight hours, surely. No. Surely four. Hunty, was it four two hour stints? We're back up to 29, stroke 30 viewers again. Thank you very much for uh, bearing with us tonight, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure to commentate on the race. If you're new here, don't forget, if you're interested in... Safety car in. Safety car in. If you're interested in racing, go and check out our Twitter feed, which has just dropped into chat. Um, and we've also got a website that you can visit to check out all things RSF1 racing. We're always on the lookout for, for new drivers. You know, just the, the nature of league racing means that sometimes people drop out. As you can see, we've got 17 drivers in tonight. But uh, yeah, we're always looking for new drivers. Feel free to drop in. There's a button that you can press that says join. Uh, join, I think it just says. Join to race. Uh, you click that and it'll take you into our Discord. And from the Discord, you get in contact with a member of the committee, provide some time trial times and then you'll be allocated a tier. Any more information as the safety car finishes and we go racing. Breezy goes early. I think he caught Shane a bit on the hop there, Stars. Yeah. Because there's Red a Bull. wave of oh, Red Bull stitching, trying to break some toes. There we go. Six. There's your boy Muddy on the join link. Four laps of racing at the end. Beautiful. So we have two laps of where we'll have DRS. Two laps so of DRS. And can Shane get the retake the lead? He was in control before the safety car. And then the safety car came out pretty easy to pull off the move of the century. <laughs> it really was. But it was amazing. As Braver goes round stretch. I, I hope I clipped it. <laughs> Stitching and Pazuzu were fighting there. Is he going to try and move there? It's right at the back of him. No, he can't get the move done, but uh, he's going to try and get it done uh, done to turn the last couple of turns. No, he can't get the move done there, but he'll probably set him up for uh, main pit straight. 
Yeah, as uh, Tekka takes stretch for PA. Shane is still in the one second window. Reese is trying to pull away, but he can't quite do it at the moment. Yeah, absolutely, Hippo. Braver is good at making overtakes. He's now almost within range of Sharky, who's right on the back of Pazuzu, who's dropped a little bit off the back. Braver does take Sharky, in fact. Cross Crease gone. Oh, he lost Crease. And oh, he took made he took Ipswich with, with him. Ipswich has lost a front wing. Surely not another safety car. We're too far into the race. Oh, it won't be a safety car now. No way Shane could My win this, says Camo. My prediction is coming true. Of nine races finished. Yes, it is. What did I say? I said eight, didn't I? I just don't Hopefully want nobody wins it. Hopefully no. we do finish with nine. Shane's don't dropping off the back. back. Oh, Shane's still there. Six tenths behind. He's got uh, three. Well, just a, two and a, a bit laps to go. Yeah, it's going to be tight between those four. front four, mate. Oh yes, but luckily none of them got penalties, so it will be down to racing. Whoever gets the final podium position, Stitch in fourth place, just, just that little bit outside the uh, podium spot. So and he's got the other red ball, Pazuzu, right behind him. But, Three seconds down, so, and so Braver gets the fastest lap of the race. It's a point for him there. Yeah, that's right. It's a point, isn't it? And we've got, uh, yeah, two laps of racing to go. Four drivers that could win on track, unless Pazuzu can real push hard. Um, no penalties. I hope we don't get any penalties. I hope we have a clean race till the end so it's decided on track rather than technically I suppose by the stewards <laughs> Hush says if the top three could get a penalty so Stygian can win Double would like it if Shane can stick to the back of Breezy DRS last lap yes Humpty yes Shane is only five tenths behind though four tenths Come on, Shane. Coming through. Red Bull gives you wings, says Hush. Coming through to on the, the power final now Shane. corner. Can he get... Oh, Can Shane get nearly loses it. Shane's going to lose P2 to oh, Eagle yeah, for Red sure. Bull. Eagle's going to get him. Easily done. Easily done. A little wiggle of the rear rear tyres. Very close race in there between the Red Bull. Oh, my word. On, uh, Albertari and the Mercedes. But Shane looked as though he was setting up breezy there. But Camo says bottle. Now. It was a bottle job, was it? Shane he with... Enough, that's where he lost it. In corner. Yeah. Is he going to have a quick look on the inside of Eagle? No. Last lap. Yeah, we're on the last lap. We are halfway through sector two, just starting sector three. So this is Shane it. Shane a picks up the three seconds and he bins it! Off he no. goes, Shane! Total disaster, please miss him, Sharky. Sharky misses him. Is Stretch going to miss him? Let's get back to the front of the field. Find our, our guy, Eagle. So Breezy's winning on track. Eagle second. Stitch in third. Those are your three guys. As we come around the first, sorry, last couple of corners. And it looks like Breezy is going to win the Australian Grand Prix Tier 3 at Melbourne. Congratulations to Breezy. Eagle in second place. Stitch in finishes third. Braver Container. A great drive from him to finish fourth. Pazuzu fifth. Sharky finishing in sixth. Stretch finishing in sixth. Sharky finishing seventh. Ipswich is going to... Uh, it's saying Piggy's in the pits. I'm sure Piggy crashed earlier on, you know. Ipswich yeah, will all drive around, finish the lap, and finishing in... Well, 
Ipswich will finish in eighth place. Yeah. And Shane will finish ninth. Wow. He may get the fastest lap of the race as well. Because he's on best true, that is. true, true. Bravey Container, fastest lap of the race with a 24.5. Shane. Ipswich coming around the final corner. What will he do? He's used all his ERS. Don't know if he got it on the last lap. But that was very disappointing. Unbelievable. Try it there, Breezy. Unbelievable. Gasly says, ooh, Camo said Shane could have made it three committee member wins. Yes, he could. But he didn't. He binned it on the final lap after a, a very squirrely exit on turn whatever turn it is the last turn let's just call it the last turn GG's everyone oh, from Sharky oh hey Sharky how you doing Eagle now only needs 8th next week I'm the master says Double Eagle now only needs 8th next week his title to lose uh, where is our podium Breezy Eagle and Stygian we need to get in the chat mate yeah I'll sort that out. Now. If you could be so very kind. And I'm happy with you doing the uh, interviews, pal, if you want. I'll do uh, a couple if you want. Or... Yeah, cool. Yeah, thanks, Hunty. I appreciate that, mate. Don't forget uh, to include your audio. Oh, you might not have to include your audio, actually. You might not have to include your audio because we're not. Did you have to include your audio? I don't. No, I don't I'm think you have to. to. I don't think you have to include your audio now, chaps, because we're going through OBS. Yeah. No, you don't. It didn't give me the option. After those. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Right. Let's uh, let's jump into. Theater. I hope I've been. I hope everyone's been able to hear me throughout the whole of the race. Otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, no, you've definitely been showing up on my Elgato, mate, for sure. Although that would have been a sensible thing for me to do at the beginning, wouldn't it? Yeah. To I've always been sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. Either that or me and please tell me people could hear stars. Otherwise, me and stars have just been having a chat between ourselves and you'll wonder who the hell I'm talking to. Uh, right, let's get to the showroom. Yeah. So, I've got to remember now who was uh, third uh, stitching. Third was Stygian in the Red Bull, wasn't it? Yeah. Is he in the party? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Can't wait Hello. for the video next week, Stygian. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> do you want me to do uh, P3 and you do P2 and 1? Uh, yeah, either way, mate. I'm, I'm happy for you to do as many as you like. Yeah, I'll do P3, you do 2 and 1. All right, mate. That's the uh, main con. <laughs> yeah. I'll... Uh, Stitching, well, a podium. Um, you lucked in there a bit with Shane crashing on the last lap, but mm -hmm. it was a pretty much a hectic race throughout with the dry, wet. Um, are you happy with P3? Or tell, tell us about your quality and your race through. Well, qualifying, I well, the game messed me up for my final run. I was going to go out of the garage and then uh, my teammate pulled into the pits and this game just doesn't allow you to exit the pits when your teammate is coming in so I had to wait and I was not even a second too late to the line so I couldn't do the final run really felt like I could have been on the front row but it is what it is I am still happy with the podium and I think I did quite alright during the race made one mistake, lost two positions but then I kept it quite cool I think I timed the pit stop to dry tires perfectly, just as just as the reds. So, uh, yeah, yeah, DRS happy. came out uh, just as you uh, pitted. Really, we were just saying in the comms, we were like, "Oh, when's this DRS coming out?" And then bang, came out. And then, yeah, uh, I said to my race engineer, it was either going to be the lap it ended up being, or the lap before that. But uh, yeah. actually, the mediums were quite slow coming out of the box, so I was a bit worried. But yeah. I think it was the right car. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of them went onto the sauce, um, but we were thinking to ourselves that 
could the softs get to the end, but you had that other safety car that came out, so sort of, sort of uh, saved those guys who were on the softs. But um, it, it looked like Shane's race to win up until that point. But mm -hmm. uh, you managed to lock in on the last lap as well. Uh, could you? How close were you to uh, hitting Shane? Well, I saw him when he went through the left hand uh, left hander. He picked up a warning and his third, so it was a penalty. Uh, mm -hmm. So then I was like, okay, I can back off. I don't have to push very hard anymore. So I was quite, when I saw him spin, I was very aware where to go. So I, although it seemed close, I, I felt quite comfortable. I wasn't going to hit him. Mm -hmm. So you're looking forward to the next race, uh, which is in Jeddah? Yeah, well, I haven't touched the track on this game yet. Not at all. So I'm, I'm not sure. I've, I've raced it uh, on TT. It's very tricky, the first sector. Um, sector one, I find really hard. Um, there's so many cut, cutbacks and cutbacks again. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, no, I I did three laps on in F2 cars a yeah. while back. That's it. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah, sector one, I just find really difficult. But uh, yeah, well, hopefully that'll be a good race to commentate on and uh, watch with the night uh, race. Um, yeah. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you there. Maybe you'll be on the podium again. Maybe we'll see. Yeah. So congratulations on your P3 today, Thank and you. uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Till next week. Yeah. Well done, mate. Good work. Good drive. Thanks. Uh, it was P2 then, Mr. Eagle. Yes. Mr. Eagle. Mr. Eagle. Congratulations on P2, mate. Uh, well you. done in what was, quite frankly, from, from start to finish tonight, even from Q1 all the way through to the end of the race and the final lap, absolute chaos and mayhem. We had rain spins. The chicane of death played its part in <laughs> the last lap, the first lap, the middle laps. Um, just talk us, through, talk us through your race and how it kind of panned out for you. Uh, well, as people in the F3 chat will know, I've been moaning about this track all day, so it's <laughs> my least favourite track on the game. Um, that includes Monaco, and I fucking hate Monaco. Mm. So, so yeah, I did a bit of practice, I think it was over the weekend, and I just couldn't find a setup that I liked at all. And then I did a little bit of practice just before the race with uh, Button and Fish, and Fish told me to try my uh, Canada setup, so I did that. And it just felt so much better, so I ran with my calendar set up tonight. Interesting so, intelligence so, for our, our so, tier four so drivers yeah. tomorrow, that. So thank you, Fish, for that one. GG's Fish. Uh, so yeah, I was really happy qualifying with third. Didn't expect to be that high, so yeah, it was more than uh, what I was expecting. Uh, from there, I also hate rain, by the way, so <laughs> Australia and rain, not, not a good combination, but managed to stick... I think I got up to second. Did I get up to second? Yeah, I got up to second. I was behind Fruit Boy for a while. He was a little bit quicker than me on the wet, so he was pulling a couple of tenths each lap. Yeah. And then, obviously, safety car came out, so we all bunched up again, and then carried on until it dried out. I pitted for the mediums, thinking that the softs wouldn't last, so I don't know if Breezy and Shane would have gone really slow at the end, or possibly got a puncher if we didn't get that second safety car, but um, after that, after the second safety car of the two, um, I was in third, which I was quite happy then, just to sit there in third and pick up the podium. But then coming on to the last lap, Shane had a little wiggle around the final corner. He did. So I managed to go up, up the inside of him and overtake him into turn one. Yeah. Then it was just a case of trying to hold him off and obviously through the whippy chicane thing, he obviously was pushing to try and get past me down that bit and I think he just lost it and he died. He did. He, he, he replicated what a lot of the guys did tonight and just lost it. And obviously, you know, you, you, you yeah. lose it there. Generally, you end up I thought, going right. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to die at one point when Breezy got past me. When it just changed to Slicks, he come around the outside of me and he hit me, I think, or nudged me. And I just had a little wobble all over the place. So then he yeah. got away. But that made me cack me pants. <laughs> no, good stuff. Uh, so, obviously... It, it absolutely cements your position at the top of the standings. Um, I think yeah, I think it's one point I need now, isn't it? Muddy says you need to finish P8 next week, so looks like four well, points. I think Fruit's got to win both races and he and get fastest lap in both now. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And, and and quite frankly, it it won't really matter what he does um, if you do what you need to do. 
Yeah, and next, I love Jeddah as well. So, oh, that was that Great was going to be my next question. So, Jeddah, you you like Jeddah, do you? I do like Jeddah. Yeah, so I'll probably race next week, hopefully to get the points I need, and then probably just skip the last race because I don't like Abu Dhabi. Well, put your feet up, put your feet up, and enjoy yes. uh, watching, uh, and obviously being in chat for us. Uh, all and watch the race. Week, but <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Well, well, congrats. well done, mate. Well done on, on congrats you know. Congrats to Stigin and uh, Breezy. Well done, boys. Thank you very much. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Mr. Breezy. Yeah, I think I'm in the audio, by the way. I didn't ask me to take it, so I just guess a minute. You're all right, Matt. I think we can hear you. We're going through OBS tonight, so we're streaming through an Elgato capturing device which means we don't have to start pressing buttons in the party chat which is superb but firstly mm. and foremostly congratulations on a great drive cheers um, yeah, i don't know what to say oh yeah i'll i'll start with stigeon because he's obviously mentioned that i might have hit him i i it's basically because joe the track was a little bit damp wasn't it like first lap or second lap whatever yeah it was. No. i went around the outside and it was just not obviously the racing line it's just my car like it's a bit like the russell butters moment and like a couple of years ago in Miller, where <laughs> when was this side of him when um it was me. Oh, and it was like... Yeah, and yeah, I just went into the side. Yeah. I'm lucky I didn't get damaged, but I thought I had damage, but didn't. Mm. I thought you had damage as well because you seemed a bit slow straight afterwards. But that's probably a bit like what the hell just happened, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. Obviously, that was one of the incidents, but it was an incident-packed race. It was an incident-packed qualification. Just talk us through your talk us through your day. I mean, qualifying. I mean, I didn't do any practice. I just got to the lobby. And then Steph, Steph went for game. I gave me a setup. So I was like, all right. And then um, I did a user setup. It was the greasiest setup I've used in my life. And then I crashed in Q2, I think. Yeah. I think. I, I, and then someone, hit, well, I didn't like crash into the wall when teammate collected me and then someone else collected him, I think. Yeah. And then, um, and then, yeah. And then the wet, the, this setup I had was like prime and it's wet. I don't know what I'd done, it done to it, but it was in the wet, it was quality. So but I went from like 14 to eight, that's like one lap or so, and I squeezed for everyone. And that, and was, then, from, that was from Steffi, was it? From Steffi, yeah, but in um, the dry it was rubbish though. It, was, it can't claim anything in the dry, it was rubbish in the dry. Uh, right. And then as I went to the dry, it, I, I, mean, I, I mean, obviously I, I won it, but I didn't feel as confident in the dry. And I, I'd rather it probably say wet the whole race to be fair. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd see him at any 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 uh, squeaky bum moments for you as, as cars were going off track and you were working your way through the field? Oh yeah, I mean, there was. I think it was like first lap. And then me and Christian party skip and he was oh, you know, Christian's SRL Gas, like SRL Gas was in the party with me. And um, then he'd, he'd gone for a move on the inside of me. And then I was like, as we obviously were like saying, that you, I said, you can have it. Then he gets taken out the next corner. And I was like, I'm so glad that wasn't me because if I had kept that position, that would have been me. So I was like, could have been, could have been the end of my race. And then obviously me and Eagles, that'll um, touch. And then, and then I made a really good, I made a quite good overtake on, oh, what's his name? Shane, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. Through the chicane or I don't know what's that, called. That, I have to say, it. has already been dubbed the overtake yeah. of the year. Oh, and yeah, then it got yeah. upgraded I mean, to the overtake of the century. Well, I mean, I just like, <laughs> I, said, I was saying the party to the lads, I was like, I've got to get fasting because he pulled like six seconds in like three laps before. I was like, he's just going to do the same again, so I've just got to make sure I get past him before he can have any chance of doing it. So I thought... I had a little run of box, may as well go for it. If you've got nothing to lose, not in the championship fight, just go for it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and you know, from, certainly from my perspective and Star's perspective and some of the guys in chat, um, it it was absolutely the, the highlight of the race. And we've got Mr. Gasly saying, uh, what's this Wood Army? Talk to us about this Wood Army oh, thing. What's that all about? Nothing. It's some guy I clipped on TikTok. it as well. I, I clipped it's, it as well. It's some guy on TikTok. Wood Army! That's what, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, he just I'm keeps saying it. I don't know why he keeps saying it. He told me to say it before I joined, but I was like, it's a bit, I, I said, I'll, I'll wait, but I said it now. <laughs> I've got it on clip as well. Well, oh, he's him saying, what are yeah. Uh, no, the overtake. No, no, I've got <laughs> the overtake. Oh, oh, the overtake. Oh, all right. Yeah, put, yeah, I, 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 clipped it for, I, I clipped it from, like, obviously my view. But, yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, once I got past the foot, I should be all right. I mean, he might have overtook me at the end, obviously, before he crashed, but... I mean, when he made that mistake and Eagle got past him, I knew he'd won it then, because in that yeah. side, obviously, crashed. Eagle wasn't going to get a second on me. No. So. No. Well, good drive, mate. Well done. To uh, to uh, on to, to Jeddah next week. Um, I mean, I don't really like the track. It's a bit slidey. It's a crazy track. I'll probably just probably end up in a wall too far, and I can't race the last race, so we'll see. Well, we'll see how it goes, mate. Fantastic track. 
fantastic track. It's not. It's greasy as anything. <laughs> it's so slidey. Okay. Well, listen. Well, well done, guys. Congratulations <laughs> to the three of you on your on your uh, your podium, uh, and obviously to to you, Breezy, on the overtake of the uh, the day, the week, the month, the year, the decade, the century. Um, oh, cheers. Uh, Gasly's the best race engineer. He says. I thought you were racing. I mean, he's not really a race engineer. He just, he just, the only thing he said was he told me, um, what's his, uh, Shane had two warnings. That's the only thing he said. He can't claim he's a race engineer. So I mean, Shane's got two warnings. There you go. <laughs> that's, as, that's as good as it gets, Gasly. It's as good as it gets. Well, congratulations, guys. Well done. Uh, what we don't normally do around here, guys, is we don't normally raid another stream, but we're going to go and raid another streamer now. So we're going to take, there's 11 of you sat here right now. I'd love if you could just kind of stick with us. Let's go and spread the RSF1 name to some other streamers. We're going to go and raid a guy called El Taco Gaming. He is a gentleman from... Oh, Christ, I better get his name right. Is it gaming or racing? Don't want to get that wrong, do we? It's El Taco, man. Imagine not knowing. So we're going to go and raid him. So uh, I'll just stick that into chat. Uh, and then while we're waiting for that raid to go. So there we go. We're going to go and raid uh, El Taco. We're back tomorrow. We're back tomorrow. I don't know who's in the comms booth. Stars, are you in tomorrow? I'm not in tomorrow, no. It's, uh, I believe, Aaron and Stygian. Aaron and Stygian no. in tomorrow. No, 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 no. Not, not me tomorrow, unfortunately. So, I nope. will be getting my official results for my final exams tomorrow. So if it's so. positive, I will be partying. Good luck, <laughs> sir. Good luck. Right, well, so we've got about... Aaron somebody. <laughs> it'll be Aaron and somebody. We've got about 30 Steve. seconds. Tomorrow is going to be... Tier 4, same track, same place, same time. Make sure you come in there because we don't put on a stream. We don't put on a race. We put on a show. That's what we do around here. Our drivers are committed. They're passionate. They like to win. They like to overtake. We'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, please feel free. Go and say hello to my good friend, El Taco Man. He, uh, he is streaming to, I don't know, 30 people, maybe? 38 people. Go and give him some love. Give him some RSF1 love. Don't need to say that Rage Quit sent us. Let's keep it a, let's keep it a little bit of a surprise. But good night, guys. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. There we go. Well done, guys. Jesus. I was fucking Great. sweating, I was. He's <laughs> sweating. Um, oh, fucking hell. Here you go. I can, I can send you a clip if you want it, mate. If not, I'll sign leave it but for what hitting me? I, I didn't do any damage mate it's yeah, yeah, yeah so I, I don't mind like, I, I mean i clipped it because i didn't know if, i didn't know if you got side pod damage or something but if you hadn't then it's fine it's not on is it, it was side pod damage not turned on so is it not no, 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 no it is not no i don't send clips in anyway if i can't be off yeah yeah i mean you won't tell me what's the point well nearly not not quite oh you're not winning yet no no i think i need without a one difference, or two yeah. points without, without me you'd have won it I'll keep if I'd have won tonight, yeah. Alive, I am. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he uh, Braver. Uh, he keeps retiring in the pit, so... Braver got fastest lap as well. Yeah, we're I'm asking have... with him for P3. Hmm. And how far ahead of him now, then? Um, I was one point ahead. I got 15, he got 13, so it must be three now. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you beat him, because it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> we're catching up to Muggs. He's like 15 points ahead of us, but he yeah, doesn't he hasn't attend races anymore. Is he? No. Oh. So I don't race much anymore, to be honest. But... I, I think uh, Morgz has given up. I spoke to him. Yeah, so day. I guess to get it with Braver and Steffi, I'm fighting for P3. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was Steffi doing in qualifying? He didn't go back out again, did he? Or he was going to get knocked out and he stayed in the pit? Uh, but he, he, for some reason, I, I mean, I, I mean, to be fair, I told him. I told him he'd be fine. And then, like, after tw like 25 seconds left, I was like, actually, Steffi, that can be fine, mate. And then he goes, <laughs> he started making some weird noises and stuff. And wasn't that, and wasn't like, it the. 107% rule, like the 107, you have to be within a certain time. It was no because idea, right. there was two cars DNF below him, weren't there, but they had quicker times than him, so when, yeah. they, oh. when the session finished, they jumped above him because their times were quicker than his. Yeah, okay. they, were, they were miles quicker as well. And he, he on his uh, on his lap back in, he'd span it, took the front wing off, had enough time to get in, change tyres and get back out again, and just didn't come out. He, he completed the lap though, didn't he, after he damaged his wing, I don't know why he just didn't pit then. And yeah. Then, there's probably, probably a reason lap. for that. I probably told him to stay out and keep the lap. <laughs> oh, so you screwed him over? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, you, got, you got to go with a competition with identity for. No, to fair, Steph is one three in a row or something like that, so he's got he's got he's got his calm yeah. down a bit. Let's put that to an end. Yeah, exactly. I was supposed to make my teammate. He'd think he'd help me out in races. He's nearly took me out a couple of times. <laughs> hey, Steph. <is. laughs> yeah. Hey, Steph is funniest guy, honestly. He just like when he's when he's like scrapping someone or fighting someone, and he just starts like going like making weird noises and stuff. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he is too quick though. It, nah, it, it's fair though. He's nah, it, I mean he's quick, but he's just consistent. Obviously, he crashes feet, but like he's he always just seems to be around the front. Like example, like in the first nah, like, but... five races. I was like podium every single race or something, and then I just couldn't be asked anymore, so I just got it crashing. So, yeah. Yeah, but you know I, mean? I mean, look at USA, he made like a three second gap in two laps. I don't think he was even in that race, to be fair, so I don't know. Yeah, but you say that, yeah, but Shane pulled about six seconds for me in about five. And yeah, then... but that's that's a little over a second a lap. This was like nearly two seconds a lap. Yeah, it was, I mean, was Fruit Boy. It was, it was Fruit Boy he was pulling away from. Yeah, he was.